Uh, wait, what shirts? What's going on? Desktop audio.
Hey everybody! <laughs> Welcome to Gehanna Valley. Here's our theme music. You can hear it for like five seconds because I forgot to play the slideshow today. Boom! Gehanna Valley theme song. All right, that's enough of that. I've never heard it. It's all right. It's it's very rock and roll. It's, it's very cool. hip. Yeah, I like it. Very hip. Yeah, the children love it. You'll have children to watch the very beginning. Stomach children of aren't watching this show. Point. Yeah, I hope. Please don't invite your children. To, uh, Maybe, uh, to this show, unless they're like sixteen, then they're normally tall okay. baby. I mean, yeah. I call well, like th- anyone under the age of thirty children. So hey, Rude. now, okay, Rude. I re- resemble that remark. I still I love you. But there's got to be a range where they can. So when they're under a certain age, they can watch because they don't understand, such as abnormally tall baby. But if they're above a certain age, then they have to hit the parameters above that to be, you know, old enough to cognitively think. So what happened last week? Yeah, what happened uh, last week? Friend? Let's see, did anything happen last week? Let's check my notes here. Check in oh, my notes to see what happened last week. I need help deciding a pen color. A, a pen color? Uh, purple. Teal. All the colors. No. All the approved colors. <laughs> Every <laughs> single <approved> one. Colors. <laughs> last time on Gehenna Valley. Valley, 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 Valley. Corey and Karina share desserts and weed in the backyard of Donovan's house. Sandra and Ruth agree to take an hour off from watching Karina. I don't like the way I wrote this. Then Karina and Corey talk about how Karina didn't want to stay over on Halloween. Karina legitimately shares her feelings despite saying, I don't know, a bunch. Corey listens but doesn't seem to get it. Alistair comes to talk to Karina. Corey calls Alistair the help. Karina admits... Mr. called him names first. Okay. Yeah. You didn't call him names. This is just Offensive a much? This is just a summary. Okay. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll open it up a little bit. Corey said, hey, do you have a problem with me? And having the opportunity, Alistair started listing the problems that he has with Corey. Then Corey said, hey, you're the help. Why don't you act like it, jackass? Um, you know, more or less. Is that better? Are we good yes. now? Okay, yes. great. To be fair, I enjoyed that, yeah. Yeah. Um, Alistair comes to talk to Karina. Corey calls Alistair the help. Karina admits that none of the other Faye besides Alistair treat her like a person. Corey says that he treats her like a person, and the Faye don't deserve Karina. Karina chases after Alistair while Corey throws... A dagger at a tree, hitting Tanya. Tanya disappears. He didn't know Tanya was there. He did uh, not. No. Krina did. <laughs> Krina follows Alistair <laughs> to an area of the Fey realm she's never been to, to before. Alistair is impressed. Donovan hypnotizes Wilma Freeman to help reveal when people lie over dinner. Donovan is very nice to Wilma at dinner. He makes Walt Freeman feel forgettable. Wolf is worried about Donovan's questioning. Wilma supports Walt some of the time. Wolf gets upset at Donovan after dinner. Donovan gives a shitty apology and decides he needs to check in on Corey's dad. Donovan lies about hypnotizing Wilma. Wolf says, I'm not afraid of my dad because everything he does, I deserve. Wolf gets even more upset and draws some emotional lines with Donovan about his family. Donovan leaves Darkest Self, apologizes for real, and quickly leaves. Bridget meets Sebastian, a vampire in the musical theater group at the Ren Fair. I want you to know that I didn't write that sentence. That makes him sound like he was doing, like, Wicked at the Ren Fair or something. But it was true that there was a group of them and they were singing. Um, he scares her with his fangs while dancing. She runs, and he surprises her again. He apologizes, explaining that he thought she was Faye because he could smell Faye on her. Sebastian buys Bridget a sword to say sorry. It's so silly when you read it. A uh, sword that's bigger than Corey's. <laughs> Why does that that's matter? The important bit. It is. Well, it would matter to you if yeah, it was it would you. matter to Corey. That's it's like it a matters. claymore. It's at least six yeah. inches bigger. It's, oh, wow. Wow. Uh, Long sword versus great sword, right? So maybe more like foot and a half. Bridget mentions <laughs> Donovan, but Sebastian doesn't seem to know him. Bridget also mentions that she housed Aphrodite. 
Bridget offers to talk to Karina about their negotiation because because Karina has to meet with the vampires uh, today. Actually, that'll be a good time. We'll see what we get there. Next slide. Corey calls Donovan and tells him about Karina, Alistair, and Tanya. Corey's a mess about the whole thing. Donovan calls Corey out for falling into old patterns and needing to trust Karina. I didn't write. Who wrote that? Okay, Rob is adding editorializing my notes. You did do that though. <laughs> Um, That's how we ended the scene, so I thought I should put it in That's there. That's fair. That's fair. And then we played video games. And then you played video games. You tried to beat uh, Hades. Let's go, brah. Is that what it was? Yeah. Is that the yeah, game? Yeah, yeah, they played Hades. Yeah. Wolf tried to apologize to Walt about Donovan, but Walt insists that Donovan is his own person that Wolf is not responsible for. He doesn't say it like a responsible adult, though. That note no, makes him sound like, pretty good. No, Walt was like... <laughs> Uh, you know, he said it in his own way. Yeah, yeah. Walt but was Walt like, Freeman. "Are you guys okay?" And Walt Freeman was like, "Nope." But that's not <laughs> no, your I'm problem. No, I'm gonna fight this teenager, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially how it's <laughs> basically. <laughs> Walt makes... I don't like your boyfriend, not because he's a boy, but because he, you know, he's him. Right, and and I don't accept your apology either. <laughs> Oh, darn. Right. But I'm not homophobic. He was very clear about that. Exactly. Wolf makes plans to talk to Donovan about something that is not us, and he uses the heart emoji. Uh, Donovan buys coffee and snacks for homeroom, because we're now into the next day. Bridget dresses goth, and Corey doesn't pick Karina up in the morning, so she goes with Alistair. We're all caught up. Aren't you all super psyched about being caught up? Oh, someone pinged me. Oh, no, that's not goats. Goat Your goats can ping me? Totes my goats. Totes my goats ping me. Got it. Great. Cool, cool, Meh. cool. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what's the chat talking about? They're so excited for Seba. Sebastian. Sebastian. Oh, well, he's not going to be in homeroom unless somebody rolls really poorly. So, let's see here. <laughs> oh, darn. Uh, da, 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 da. And I did not watch the video of Kurt Angle being a supportive father. I saw that you posted it, but I was I was getting ready for this. I'm sorry. Please uh, tell me it's like him body slamming someone. <laughs> all right, now I we're don't know. I started it on both the chat and what happened last time. So let's do our check in. Oh my god! Yeah, good job. I'm sorry. I I laughed because I looked over at the chat, which is like 10 seconds behind, and in the corner of my eye, I'm just Stephanie's just going to town on that honey bun, you know. I mean, I'm uh, jealous. I'm a little jealous a too. Bun. I don't. All I have is these. The I'll have one later. Actually, I'm not jealous <laughs> because tonight I'm having a my GM bribe Ooh. blondie by friends of the show critical hit cookies. Send me free cookies, nice. and I'll say this more often. Critical hit cookies. They <laughs> taste good, and I buy them. I want brownies. They taste good. Oh, yeah. This is I a blondie, them. actually. No, I, not... want the, I want them chai brownies. That's what I want. Chai brownies they have? The chai? Yeah. I haven't Ooh. had the chai brownies. That I had the, sour, like the sourdough brownie I had. So, oh, the... last thing, no? good news is... Uh, if you own Critical Hit Cookies, you have a lot of people on the cast you could bribe to get product placement. I'm just saying, okay? Yeah. Um, I really I haven't had, had anything that I dislike. Me neither. Yeah. When you're done with your giant box of chocolates, you should get some. Um, I like I'm the ones that the have caffeine, the caffeine, caffeine in them. <laughs> like this one has ca coffee in it. It tastes good. Oh, I can't have caffeine. Well, there's a bunch that don't have caffeine in them. I just happen okay, to yay. like caffeine. Um... And I just made my big dad hungry. Good. That's my goal. Go buy some cookies. Critical hit cookies. Yep. All right. See how good we are at this. All right. Yeah, and on. put in your that note, works. I bought them because of Gehenna Valley. You should sponsor them. Yeah, do that, actually. You will get critical hit cookies. Right. <laughs> I, would be, I would be so happy if people bought critical hit cookies and actually wrote that down. Not yeah. because I think they will sponsor the show, because I don't think we even have like a form for that. But just because it would bring me great joy. Just just so you know. Um, anyway, let's do our character check-in. Check-in on characters. I like how we know there's going to be a song because your voice changes. Oh, does it change a little <laughs> bit before? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. You You're get perfect. into the zone. It's a dog. Oh my god, look at this beautiful lady. Who's she? What's she up to? What? Did I click on a slide? Which lady? Oh no, I'm just, I'm just on there. Oh, you're on a slide. I am on there. Well, the rest, the people watching at home have no idea what you're talking about. 
All right. Well, I'm going to start with Bridget, because that's a beautiful lady, since we set it up. Lady. Um, Bridget Klein, goth version tonight. Um, we've got, uh, what do we got? We got no conditions. That's a shame. We're going to have to There's change that. People don't want to give them to me. We'll get you some. <laughs> it makes um, me sad. Oh, dog for everybody who likes animals. Okay. Steven! Uh, you got five strings on a wolf, a smattering of ones. You have two harm. <laughs> You're really gonna have to like take a nap or something at some point, you know? Like, nope. Just like intentionally <laughs> slow down. Pet some, some bunnies. Pet some bunnies. Bridget doesn't do self care. Pet does, bunnies. That would be a good T-shirt. Bridget doesn't do self care. I'm just saying. XP zero <laughs> towards your third level up because you've had two level ups, like a crazy oh, yeah. person. And um, no, 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 that's correct. Oh, was it two? Oh yeah, yeah. I've had two. Because you're going yes. now. You're going towards your third. Yeah. Third. Right. And you are not your darkest self. No, not yet. Great job, everybody. Um, since we're talking about beautiful ladies, let's jump to Krina next. Uh, Krina, you have the condition avoidant. And you don't have any other conditions. What happened to not so fey? We cleared that one too, I guess, huh? Yeah, because you took so fey from me. But didn't I change so it immediately? Not well, yeah, because they, so uh, they, they drank fey wine and chatted it over books. Oh, that's right. And so then it kind of balanced out. Right, right, right. And he told me I was very fey. Well, so there. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Misavoidant. But uh, <laughs> you got a whole bunch of strings. Let's just go through them real quick. Marissa 1, Bridget 2, Emily 2, Rachel 1, Kale 1, Tarclan 1, Corey 1, Alistair 2. I like it. Pretty good. You've got zero harm. Three XP towards your second level up. And you are not your darkest self. For now. True. For now. Um, Thank you, Ashley. I feel good. like because it's topical, we should return to an old question real quick. Are you dating Corey? No, he's not my boyfriend. No. Okay. And I'm not his girlfriend. Speaking of which, let's jump to Corey. We're just jumping all over the place tonight. It's going to be great. I'm about to say you're going wild, Brian. I Corey, can't you have the condition shamed. Yar. Fair. Um, you get a bunch of names that don't have any strings, but uh, yeah. you're a string spender. It's like you're playing a game or something with a limited economy. Yeah, a... Hey, hey, it's just a different <laughs> way to play the game, okay? You've got two strings on Harold, one on Mrs. Javert. Um, no, I'm sorry, Javert is how she says it. Uh, one on Rachel, one on Dixie, one on Wolf. Zero harm, two XP towards your first level up. And you are not your darkest self. Correct. Great. Donnie Van. Taking the Donnie Van to creepy and duplicitous town because those are your conditions. Uh, maybe you I a... am, maybe I'm not. <laughs> You've got a lot of strings, so I'm not going to read them. But I think we should point out that you have six strings on Corey. Yeah. Uh, yeah let's just do the main cast. You've got one on Krino. Uh, none on Bridget. Three on Wolf. Is that it? Am I forgetting somebody? Corey, six, Krina, one, Wolf, three, Bridget, none. Yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah. Cool. Although, we should also point out that you have four now on Walt Freeman. And a uh, forward. If only you had that move. That one but move you don't. from the Chosen. <laughs> yeah. I, you Listen, know what? I got a funny I, feeling. I just... There are people... Donovan may be one of them, who don't necessarily need a special move to kill someone. <laughs> I'm not saying That's that Donovan true. would kill Walt, but you know what you can do with one string? Take half of someone's life away. Half. Well, we don't know how much HP Walt Freeman has. Yeah, for Freeman all we has. know, Walt Freeman has like 12 he HP. Could have like, That's yeah. true. That's true. <laughs> Sometimes you can I... just tell people to take a long walk. <laughs> I, yeah, I will say there are also far far more fun things you can do than just kill someone outright. And the Fae definitely knows that. Speaking. Also Krina. <laughs> Speaking of fun. Nervous laughter. And nervous <laughs> laughter. Wolf has three conditions. Dedicated, threatened, and whipped. I want you to I want to see all those emotions in this first scene, okay? No pressure. You have uh, I'll try. <laughs> you have six strings on Bridget, five on Donovan, and you know what? 
we, you're never going to do anything with the string on Karina, so I'm just going to stop reading it. No, but it's still important. <laughs> the vintage string. It's a memento. It's a vintage. If it doesn't get used, is it important? Is it yes. there? Does anyone know it exists? Yes. I mean, it's important to have them for when you go dark yourself. Exactly. They only totally work if you pull on them. But they mean something to me, the player. <laughs> you have zero harm. Three XP towards your first level up. Uh, and you're not your darkest self, but your true love is Donovan. For now. Hey, actually, I missed one question. Corey, are you dating Karina? I was wondering about that. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so unsure. Is everything's a question? Everything's a question? Listen, a lot of things are questions right now. Uh, the dog can still open that. That's not close properly. All right. Steven. He's not here right now, and I'm wearing headphones, so he can't hear you. All right, that was a good check-in. We're, we're heading straight to homeroom, because um, we set that up last time. Unless somebody has something they need to establish before homeroom. All right, don't say I never asked. Uh, let's see here. Krina in the morning, Krina in the evening, Krina at supper time. No Krina on a bagel? <laughs> A Krina can be on whatever she wants to be on. All right, she's her own person. <laughs> Krina on a honey bun? Okay. I'm a mature adult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all are. So, hey, speaking of being a mature adult, uh, did you know that you could buy our t-shirts in the store? Well, someone's about to drop the link, but it's always down below when you're on the Twitch. Do we have a Lumber James onesie? No, I don't think Not yet. so. But Everybody we need one for my Discord, favorite viewer. And you're going to at Marchosius because he's in charge of those things. And yeah. you're going to tell him <laughs> all of the products that you want the Gehenna Valley Lumber Jane on right. so that we can all buy them. Because yeah. I want a mug and a sticker. Uh, I, I need a onesie for my favorite fan. He really needs consistent reminders. So, if, like, if, if we can, like, yes. get a spreadsheet together, if we could do, like, two a day, people asking him, that would be great. We'll take shifts. Yeah, and yeah. then the Bridget doesn't do self care t shirt. Oh, like, my I've already gosh. got a list of, like, catchphrase stickers started. I'm not even joking. I started it, like, five minutes ago. I love it. <laughs> Maybe it's like apps. Bridget doesn't do self care on, like, a weighted blanket or something. Yeah, something I've got Bridget self doesn't do self care. I've got for now, and for I'll now. Hold you to that <laughs> All right. with a broken heart emoji yes um, and a broken heart emoji oh my gosh oh no no broken that one's sad people almost die no, that's over just the, broken that's heart just emojis. the broken promise it doesn't have to be sad oh my gosh it's usually kind of sad though y'all killing me tonight i love you let's see here oh we're doing homeroom so talking about homeroom uh, we know the answer isn't Krina, but I think, um, between, it probably isn't Corey either. Let's, let's I actually there. was going to say, I think Corey ends up there pretty early because he goes to go when he picks up Krina, but then he doesn't get Krina. So you, you leave the same time you normally do, but yeah. you just don't. I think it's an in the car decision. Oh, okay. Wow. Like he gets in the car and he like, and then he goes there so i think let's do that then donovan you get there before the other main cast members okay donovan will uh no no no, no. Of... i'm sorry no. i no. said donovan but i met Corey. oh i'm very sorry because we we're talking they are about both Corey. very similar donovan flies backwards into his <laughs> car i love it <laughs> i think uh cory you get there and mm -hmm. um when you get there it's just, uh, where is, oh, Kale's not in the class. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah, no, Kale's a senior. Kale's a senior. Oh, geez, I forgot all about that. I forgot that, too. Um. <laughs> Whoops. I think, um, when you get there, it's just, uh, Tabitha, Ingrid, and Caleb. And Ingrid and Tabitha are chatting together. Um... Corey pauses for a second, but I think he does walk over to Caleb. Okay. Hey, uh, how are you doing? It's been a few months. Caleb looks up from his copy of Walden Pond. and um, He's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, he goes, oh, hey, Corey, go fuck yourself. 
I would, but I've already fucked you. And he's gonna just that's, go back to his desk. That doesn't make any sense. That's that's totally Thumbs. not a linear reply type thing. Thumbs up him. Okay. Caleb's Great. Fine. You can go back to your desk. <laughs> Yeah, he goes back to his desk. Yep. Um, you can tell uh, from your desk, because it's right next to Tabitha and Ingrid, that they're talking about Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, I don't think Corey wants to interrupt them, per okay. se. Um, as much as he is semi-interested, because apparently all of his friends are playing it, or a majority mm-hmm. of them are. Um, I think he like just yeah just takes out like his intro to German book and just starts reading it. Cool. All right, I love it. Um, I'm gonna say that Wolf kind of had a rough night. Let's say Bridget gets there next because she didn't want to spend a lot of time in the house this morning yet again. Uh, Well, actually, let's throw a let's throw an NPC in the room first and and fill it up a bit more. Let's say Bex gets there next. So Bex is there. Um, and then you can come in, Bridget. So, uh, Bridget, you enter the room, and you're, let's let's be clear, you're goth, Bridget, but do you want to paint that a little more specifically? Yeah, I, I think Bridget is working out with what she has in her closet and mm-hmm. makeup shelf. So she, you know, she didn't sprout trip pants out of anywhere. She's She's got, like, black jeans and, like, a black tank top on. And some like black like work boots she has, and she's done her makeup as like dark as she can with dark eyeliner and a dark lipstick, and no blush. <gasps> and she's just no looking. Blush. I know. And yeah. I th- and I think on her way in, she, I think she tries not to draw too much. Like she's not like, look at me. She just like walks in like it's, it's not normal. like yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Um. And I want to stop by Tabitha and Ingrid. Uh, I think that's a great idea uh, because um, you walk in and Bex uh, sees you but and kind of like tilts, a uh, little dog tilt, uh, but doesn't say anything. Uh, but Tabitha sees you because she's talking to Ingrid. And before you even get that far, she kind of like, she doesn't say anything, but she kind of pushes Ingrid on her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like an instinctual reaction, like, ugh. Um, and Ingrid's like, what? And, and uh, like Tabitha smiles, like a really fake smile, and is obviously looking over Ingrid's shoulder. So just as you get to Ingrid's desk, Ingrid starts to turn around, and she sees you, and she's surprised. Uh-huh. What do you do? <laughs> Hey, I'm so sorry I couldn't make it last night. How did it go? Did did you guys have fun anyway? She goes, Oh yeah, yeah, no, it was it was it was fun. Tabitha goes, Yeah, we had a great time. Don't worry about it, Bridget. A great time? Ingrid goes, Yeah, it was it was it was cool. Tabitha goes, Yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay. I'm I'm so glad. I'm so sorry I had to cancel uh you know, my mom's needed help at the Red and Fair, but Ingrid goes, "Yeah, I'll tell you about it later." Okay, I can't wait to hear about it. And Tabitha kind of goes, "Great, great," and Bridget will look at her desk. Ah, <laughs> uh, you okay? You sit at your desk. Mm-hmm. Great, and then they'll turn around and they'll include you. They're t- they're just talking about how they miss D and D, but the Red Fair is almost over. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Donovan, why don't you come in next? Sure. That's so funny. I, I, I don't know. Did I hear the dog all of a sudden? I just heard... Can I, can I, what, someone can't, like, hurl their dog onto their lap without you <laughs> laughing? It just surprised me. You wanted attention. I can't help <laughs> it if it's a live show. It was a little distracting. Look, yeah, I was like, oh, look, look at this face. What's that, Raggy? Look at that face. I can't ignore this face. Look at that face. Aww. It's adorable. You're distracted, they say. The best, I'm... though. Do you want to sit in your the bed? Sit in your bed, okay? okay. Or, or just be on to, camera and stay for a minute. He's sad now. He's co-DMing. GMing. Yeah. So Donovan comes in uh, wearing his jersey because um, it's the pep rally today. Mm-hmm. And he's got a tray of different 
you know, baked goods from the coffee shop, as well as a bunch of boxes of coffee and mm-hmm. cups. And uh, isn't really smiling, is more like straight lined face and just walks over to the um, front desk. To, um, mixed Thunderbark, um, I got some um, pastries and coffee and such if you want anything, if anybody wants any. Um, looking forward to the pep rally um, and thought I'd get some stuff for people. Well, and Donovan puts it down and yeah, very thoughtful. And if you want to just like put it in the table in the back of the room, I think that's uh, fine. Sh- sure, that's fine. And Donovan will head to the back, mm-hmm. put it down. Doesn't take anything, and then uh, goes and sits at his desk and pulls out his phone. Um, does anybody want to react to Donovan before I do? Great. So, uh, Donovan, you immediately get a text um, from Ronnie Bruce. And Ronnie Bruce says, Donovan, what's with the goodies? Is Ronnie in our class? No. All right. All right. What do you mean, what's with them? I would text back. He says, I saw you. You had baked goods and coffee. Oh, yeah. I brought him to home room. Um... You could probably come get some. I don't think there'd be a problem. Great. Uh, immediately, as if they were right outside, because they were. Ronnie Bruce, uh, Truck, and two other people come in and, like, politely say hi to people and just, like, join, like, the line that, you know, I think Bex probably got up and goodness knows Tabitha drinks caffeine and Ingrid. Uh Yeah. Donovan just like leans back in his chair, a slight kind of amused grin at them being right outside the door, but doesn't say anything. But the, and they're wearing their football jerseys too, because it's uh, good. It's, it's pep rally day, <laughs> yeah. Or else, or else, I'd have to drop one or something. Uh, and I think Marissa shows up, and Xavier, and Emily, and Wolf comes in. Great. So I think um, he just goes, hold on, let me look. Okay, he walks in. You can tell he's very tired. Um, He had a rough night last night. Mm -hmm. And uh, he walks, so he walks down the aisle, like between his and Donovan's desk, that aisle there. And uh, he just walks over to Donovan and like, uh, he's trying very hard to act like everything is normal. And he just, uh, he like walks up to him, like leans in, gives him like a quick kiss on the cheek. And just like, morning, Donovan. Good morning. And then he just like sits down <laughs> at in his seat and he's like, um, can we talk during lunch? Yeah. Um, I got coffee. And Wolf, like, turns around to see the, the line and, like, <laughs> he, all the stuff. And he's like, oh, that was really nice of you, Donovan. Do you want Like, some? he doesn't get up. Oh. No. He is, uh... He, like, pulls out the, like, um... Why can't I think of the word? Smoothie? The, yeah, like, Shake? thermos of, like, smoothie or whatever. That Shaker was, bottle? Green yeah, machine. Exactly. That he was undoubtedly sent to school with. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Do you, you probably don't want a muffin or a pastry then? Oh no, I already ate breakfast. Thanks though. Okay. And like he gives he gives Donovan like a, a like a small smile, like appreciative. Donovan makes this like weird awkward smile like. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Like, he's trying, and he's just not. He's in a confused state. So he. Yeah. No, and I mean, Wolf's not like completely giving Donovan the cold shoulder. He's just like, I already ate breakfast. I don't need anything. Mm-hmm. So Don- Donovan would immediately text Wolf. Oh. You okay? <laughs> Wolf will just like, he like reads the text, like looks over because Donovan's sitting right next to him, and like texts back, and he's like, Yeah, I'm fine. 
Don't worry about it. Um, cool. Wow. Um, Bridget wants to tap Corey on the shoulder. Great. Go for it. Actually, is Corey in front of me? No, nope. oh, Corey's next yeah. to you. He's next to you. Yeah, I want to turn her over to Corey yeah. and be like, Where's Bridget? Didn't you get or no, where's Bridget? We're right here, Bridget. Whoa. We're right here. <laughs> Aphrodite returns. Aphrodite? Aphrodite is here. <laughs> Pulls out a dagger. Where's Bridget, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Where's Krina? Did you give her a ride today? I don't think I don't know if she's coming to school today. She was Oh, I really wanted to talk to her. Oh well she was uh in the Feywild yesterday. Uh, and he's whispering. Uh, you know, yesterday, last night, probably this morning. I don't oh, know. Okay. I didn't hear from her, so I don't know where she is. Oh, that's that's a little worrying. Are she's you worried with, about her? Her body. I, she's with her bodyguards. She's she's fine. Did Donovan at least hear Bridget ask Corey about where Krina is? Yeah, it's you're right there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right there. <laughs> so. I think Bridget, at least, since Corey's talking to her, would see Donovan like slowly pivot away from Wolf, like bringing his phone down from the tech, and like look at Karina's empty seat and kind of like look around, a little concerned. But she went with Alistair, so I'm sure he takes great care of her. Okay, if if you see her, let her know I want to talk to her about something. Yeah, are we still on for lunch, or do you want to yeah, yeah, talk I to don't, her during... I don't have any plans. Okay, yeah, no, that's good. Uh, nice outfit. Are you, like, doing, like, a like a wardrobe challenge or something, or, like... Oh, oh no. Um, and I th I'll think I'll lean over and be like, Dixie and I kissed last night. And Dixie oh, enters the room. Ooh. <laughs> I think... Some... <laughs> I think uh, Bridget flushes under her heavy makeup, so you can't see it. Yeah. Oh, um, that's that's really that's really awesome. For, like he like actually like he's been sort of like not looking so happy like just meh, but I think he actually genuinely smiles when he hears like the Bridget was like, hey, I spent time with Dixie, you know, and that's really great, Bridget. I think that's great. Dixie's a really no good. He's whispering. Yeah, but Dixie just walked in and I think is walking yeah. down our row. Uh, I think actually <laughs> Dixie sees uh people getting coffee and this has happened once before and dixie goes straight into the line does not bother going yeah. to okay. her desk first okay but he's like but yeah and if you need any help with that uh let me know i don't think you're the person to ask for help with relationships will you roll cold please because <laughs> damn. damn i mean fair oh, though fair. oh fair absolutely fair but cold uh that is a uh seven. Oh, 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 oh. all right well on a seven to nine choose one uh Corey, you got any strings on brigitte um let me check i don't actually know about that one i don't feel like looking i'm checking for you uh no 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 bridget all right so you can gain a string you can give Corey a condition or you can take one forward. Uh, I'm going to give Corey the condition. Uh-oh. Uh, am I dumped? Question mark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be dumped if you never dated. Wow. I think you might be able to. Wow. It's a fade thing. It's complicated. It's a fade thing. Don't worry. It's complicated, guys. That's, Don't worry. It's rough. It's y'all are I love all of you so much. So much. I love you. <laughs> um, great. <laughs> Cool. Uh, I think ooh, he like ex like he exhales like he got punched in the gut when you yeah. say it. I'm like, yeah. But in Wait, return, you get to, you get to you give get a to condition. Give uh huh. And Bridget really needs one. And I get XP because yeah. of the condition. <laughs> <laughs> what do you what now? You I'm give wondering her? who would you even ask for relationship advice? Out Don't of worry about that. That's none the of them. We're not none of them. that question. <laughs> we're we're um, giving um, her go, Come talk to us on the Discord about it. <laughs> Good job. Good one. Good one. Ooh. Ooh, considering where Corey is right now. Sitting in homeroom. Well, yes, but, but just like like he's shamed, et cetera. So like when these things happen and he's feeling I this, I think joke. It, it would be something like probably like like accurate or right or like um <sighs> um 
Um, what about instead of accurate? Because that's harder to play. Yeah, it's what yeah, about like to... blunt? Because blunt um, is generally means truth, but yeah, in a so harsh sort of hitting. way. Hitting. Yeah, no, I like blunt. I think blunt okay. works. Okay. Great. Trade me that sword for a uh, warhammer. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, that would have been that cute. Richard with a Warhammer. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, I think y you say that, and Corey just sort of lets a deep sign. He's like, yeah, you know I what? Think, You're probably right. I think Bridget kind of cringes as it comes out of her mouth. It's like, uh, I don't think I'd ask you. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, ooh, ooh that was ooh. a little harsh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Corey just, he just, yeah, you're, you're right. I don't know about relationships and just like goes back sullenly like the the smile of like drops and he just goes goes back to his intro to German book. I, I do want to point out that uh, someone in chat answered the question, who do you turn to for relationship advice? And the answer was Ronnie Bruce. So, well, we were talking about the PCs though. Y'all think about uh, that yeah, though. But like that that's also, who you need to turn love... to. For I stand who, is, who is Ronnie Bruce? Yeah. Who isn't want, Ronnie Bruce? You know who Ronnie Bruce is? He's Ronnie Bruce friend. is the person leaving homeroom with free coffee and a Danish. That's who Ronnie yeah. Bruce is. He's Smart. at Frida level of detecting sugar. <laughs> I didn't is want Ronnie to... Bruce a fae? Is Ronnie Bruce? Ronnie Bruce is like the true fae. Ronnie Bruce is actually like, you know Excuse how me? like there's secretly God Excuse was wandering me? around the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hey, put so you, I will... uh, I wanted Donovan to message Krina okay. after that, but I didn't want to interrupt no, um, Natalie please. and Me Kay yeah. anymore. Message Krina. So Donovan would, would have texted Krina like immediately saying, hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. On my way. Okay. Um, he, he wouldn't say um. <laughs> <laughs> the is, text, Cor um, yeah. is Corey okay? Question <laughs> mark. Oh. So Donovan would say, uh, yeah, before, he, he you, replies, before you could respond, yeah, okay. he'll send a second text. Is Corey okay? Question mark. Donovan replies, okay, good. No, he's upset and conflicted. I told him he needs to talk to you and trust you. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> You know from experience that's a text that Krita sends when she's just confused. Yeah. <laughs> well, we almost have the whole classroom now. So I think um, considering how fast you travel when you travel VFA, Karina and Alistair are the next to come. So Yeah, I think it should be just like a couple of minutes before the bell rings mm -hmm. to start home room. I mean, I think like that's literally fair. Like two minutes. I don't think Wolf got there super er er early or anything. So... Like, maybe you were, like, outside the building when you sent that message. That's cool? Sure. Yeah. So, a minute goes by, just as Dixie is, like, settling into her seat. Karina and Alistair walk in. Karina's gonna, like, look around at everybody. At, like, probably, like, split-second eye contact with Corey before uh just looking away. Corey's eyes are down. Oh, so he's not looking. Okay. So he's, he's in his book. Yeah. German. German. Intro to German. Yeah, I think she comes right in, like, kind of, like, stands, like, a few feet in, in the entrance and just kind of, like, looks. Um. But, look, Bridget <laughs> is waving. Um. I think I will take the long way around. I think I'll go all the way to the far so I don't walk by Corey mm -hmm. to get to my desk. Uh, oh, so you're walking by the copy uh, I put it... You said in the back of the room? Yeah, it's in the back of the room. So if you're going farthest the way... I was thinking you're walking down the front. Oh, I'm sorry. And then like, yeah. So you're just not going down that window. aisle. I get yep. ya. I get ya. I'm avoidant. I'm avoiding Corey. Nice. And Alistair just goes straight to his seat once you're in the room because that's what Alistair does. Um, <laughs> I, I will say that Krita is wearing a very, very large, like, burgundy v-neck sweater that is very clearly not her sweater. It's, like, falling off of a shoulder and the sleeves are way too long kind of thing. Whose sweater is it, Krita? Hmm, I don't know. Corey might recognize it. 
Okay, hold on a second, because Brian <laughs> needs to know. Okay, it's just yeah. in case you were like, it's Ronnie Bruce's sweater, and, and Corey Ronnie would Bruce's know, sweater. you know? Like, oh. no, Corey, Corey would know it's Ronnie Bruce's intimately. <laughs> <laughs> they went shopping together. But Corey doesn't know. <laughs> Corey doesn't know. Uh, Corey doesn't know. Corey all right, thank, thank you, thank Sorry. you, thank you. It's my fault. I appreciate you acknowledging my reference. Okay. Got it. I uh, got this one, guys. <laughs> one. <laughs> um, great. Bridget, are you going to happily talk to Krina, or are you, like, picking oh. up some bad juju vibes? Or I don't think I'm picking up bad juju vibes. Okay, cool. Hey, Krina. Hey. Um. We need to talk somewhere. Okay. Are you okay? Is everything all right? No, everything is great. But I have some information for you that might be useful. About, you, you do? About what? About the people you need to meet with at the Ren Fair. Time out before Karina can respond. <laughs> uh, Bridget, you're turning around to talk to Karina, right? Uh -huh. So you realize while you're giving this very important information to Karina, um, Dixie is staring at you. Like you turned around and she got and she saw you, uh -huh. and it's not like super happy or super upset or anything like that. It's just like she's watching. I don't want to say watching a car accident, but she's kind of just like it's like like slowly sinking in, like um, <laughs> like the villain is being revealed on a TV show, kind of like 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 she's just like. Um, looking at you and like taking in like how you're dressed and what that might mean. I think I give her a little smile. Okay, great. So, and Karina, while you're trying to figure <laughs> I'll out, see that and, like whirl around, right? I'm immediately distracted by this. Little smile. <laughs> okay, great. And you whirl around and you see uh, Dixie with her coffee and like, and then there's a smile, and so you see Dixie actually a little, little, little blushy, a little bit. <laughs> I don't whirl back around to Bridget and be like, Dixie? Did you? Yeah. Bridget, that's great! Yeah, but then something else happened. I need to talk to you about it. How do you know about that? Um, I met the people you have to talk to. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Milo walks in just as the bell rings. Goes and takes their seat. Uh, okay, yeah, we should definitely talk. Okay, I'm... About that. I'm having lunch with your not-boyfriend. Which one? Corey, you're right there. Yeah, Corey's Corey? right there, and he's listening, and he just, um, every time, he just drinks. <laughs> but, like, if you want to meet up somewhere, like, after school we could talk, or or whatever... Um, I have to go right there after school, so probably before the end of the day. Okay. Do you, do you want to skip class? I mean, always. <laughs> um, I think Critica kind of, like looks over at Corey, and looks past him to Alistair, and looks back at Corey, and then looks back at Bridget. And says, I, I don't know which one though. Oh, I, I probably shouldn't miss health class because Miss Cleaver is like looking out at me. Um, but, but I can skip biology. Mix Thunderbird clears their throat loudly. <laughs> <laughs> we should skip English. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Uh, I think I realize a turnaround. Okay, like, great. Oh shit. Cool. Uh, yes, Donovan. I wish Donovan was paying attention to everything around him. <laughs> right. But instead, I think Donovan is preoccupied by why Wolf seemed tired and upset and a little off. And Donovan is focused on thinking it's his fault and what happened. Yeah, it is. So I'd like to be kind of like deep in thought, gazing into the abyss of why Wolf is upset. Okay, cool. Great. Go ahead. Roll dark. Because they go uh, so well when I roll this. Yeah. I will say that after well, like texting well, with Donovan, Wolf it just like puts his head down <laughs> and is like sleeping okay. or attempting to sleep. <laughs> Great. Dear Magic Darkness, why is my boyfriend upset? 
All right. So I got a five. Congratulations. Oh, great. I was so ready to answer, too. They never go well. Donovan <laughs> thinks they go well. Oh, let's oh, great. see here. Oh, I almost forgot about like all the fun stuff that happened in season one because Donovan isn't dark enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dark, yo. You should bump up your dark stat. No, no. This no. is more fun. Yeah, this, this is, is more, fun. Way I agree. more fun. You only well, get one stat bump a season. You know? <laughs> like... well, it's a whole second new season. <laughs> Oof, oof, Who oof. has a stalker because of Wolf's failed dark roll? Doesn't someone? Who doesn't? Because Wolf's <laughs> Wolf only I mean, rolls dark Wolf. like Donovan. Twice. I think it might be Wolf because of Donovan. It was the weird dark web person. I was very interested in. Oh, it had to be Abel. I just assumed it was. Mrs. <laughs> oh, they were like super interested in Bridget, weren't they? Yeah. Maybe it was Bridget. Yeah. I think it was just Miss Abel, though. You know, it's funny you haven't talked to them in the last few months. Since season one, they haven't been online. Was it Miss Abel? <laughs> Multiple, I thought. It was like a whole like cadre. There's a cadre, but then there was that one person that was like mm. especially helpful. Um, anyway, I um. Oh no, Brian. Yes. What were you asking the uh, the darkness again? Why is Wolf upset? Because Donovan's like, oh, it must be me. Maybe it's because of how I treated his dad. Maybe it's because how I left just I don't know. I so, think you uh, think about it, and you really, really think about it. And um, you realize with all the clarity and insight that homeroom can provide that um it's not your fault at all oh um it's absolutely walt freeman's fault that um a uh, walt freeman uh, must have come down hard on wolf after you left probably your fault that he did so but walt uh, i mean you you've seen him tired like this this is absolutely results of people keeping him up you know when he's overworked out before like this is this is this is walt freeman 101 all right cool cool that could have been worse it's mixed thunderbrook's fault <laughs> um, all right thunderbrook Thank is you. like hey we've got big pep rally today so that means that we got a special lunch it's chili bowl thursday super exciting it comes with taco chips and um a little fruit cup <laughs> it's uh, uh don't forget about the pep rally this afternoon it will be hard to forget as uh you will be there as it's during the school hours um as soon as uh, I think everyone in this period has second lunch, so instead of going to uh, fifth period, you're just going to go straight to the pep rally after lunch. It'll be great. And um, make sure you go to the game on Saturday. Go Lumberjacks. Ra, ra, ra. Shishkoom. Okay, yeah, we're obviously done with the announcements now. <laughs> Thunderbird goes back. Oh, uh, it's just a reminder. Uh, in general, one last thing: uh, if you skip classes, uh, you will get detention. I just uh, it's just last note on this last piece of paper here. I just want people to remind that, know that. I think Karina actually does kind of laugh, not like very long <laughs> or very loud, but she just just kind of like. <laughs> Like in, her, like in her chair kind of thing to herself. Great. Um, Wolf. Yes. Um, you get a, uh, a poke on the shoulder. Oh, uh, he will lift up his head and turn whatever direction. Yeah, it's Mauricio. Okay. Um, I think Wolf will just offer him the best... Uh, smile he can manage it's like hey what's up you look tired yeah i'm a little tired is that it why are you tired uh, 
Oh, I just had a long night last night. I had a lot of homework, you know. I think we have roughly the same amount of homework. Yeah, but it takes me a long time to do it because I'm not very smart. I, I offer math tutoring now. Oh, really? Do you, do you need that? Um, no, I just, you know, I think I'm fine. Thanks, though. I, I really appreciate that. I think Mauricio will just sort of, like, gently, like, rub the side of your face and be like, okay, <laughs> you, you can go back to your nap now. Okay, I think Wolf looks a little perplexed at that gesture. <laughs> and it's just like, okay. <laughs> and, like, goes and lays his head back down. Okay. <laughs> like, we need to fix something. <laughs> Eventually. If I was still dark as self, I had a thought. But you're not. Next time. Does anybody else want to do something in the last couple of minutes of homeroom? That's what I want I to think... do. <laughs> I think Karina will, like, instead of, like, normally she just stares out the window the whole time. Mm -hmm. I think she's actually, like, staring into the back of Corey's head. And will, like, occasionally look over to Alistair, who I think is, like, always meets her gaze when she looks over, because he, like, knows that she's looking. He can looking. sort of sense it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then just keeps looking back at Corey, like, is he going to turn around? Is he going to look at her? I think Alistair will, will look at you, like, very intently the next time you look up at him, and go... <laughs> no! I think Bridget is going <laughs> to lean forward, like, so when are we going to talk? <laughs> Do we lean back? Because well, I'm behind you. Well, turn oh, yeah, around. Lean back. Then, yeah. low. Sorry. Oh, I keep oh you're going to do one of these? In front of me. That's classy. No, do no that. I'll, I'll do a turnaround. Okay. Like, <laughs> so when are we going to talk? I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I can just cancel with Corey, I guess. No, don't cancel with Corey. We make okay. him sad. Don't do that. Okay. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, not even like, I keep looking at you, then like looking away, like looking at Corey. I'll text you about it. That's what I'll do. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Yeah. Does, does Corey ever turn around? Because I'm pretty sure he probably feels <laughs> looking at him. Corey? I don't think he does. Wow. Rude. So Do I get to rude. roll cold for that? <laughs> All right, so let me ask you this. You're sitting there. You're focused mm. on German book. Yes. And we're just going to establish it. We're going to say it's true. You feel Karina staring at you. It is a thing. Physics got involved, okay? Um, knowing that, do you intentionally not turn around? I think he does. You do turn around, or you do, you do intentionally. No, I, th not. I think he intentionally doesn't. Okay, now is it more that you're scared to meet Krina's gaze, or that you want Krina to feel bad? No, it's more that he's scared to meet her gaze. Okay, so yeah. I think no, no, you're right. Yeah, no, cold, we're girl. sorry. It's Meeting okay. a person's gaze can I'm be just a trying very to fail intimidating something. thing. It can be. It can be. Well, if you want, they're usually to super topical. Know a lot about popular culture. Despite fear, then you could roll. I think he's. But if you want to be a coward, then no, you don't get to roll. Stephanie's just like, yeah, are you a coward? What's up? <laughs> um, mm, he's shamed and apparently dumped, so, I mean... That's fine. You you, yeah. you just be a coward. It's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Does anybody else have something they want to do? Am I dumped? Question mark. Not <laughs> is dumped. <laughs> He got rid of assumes the worst, remember? <laughs> I, okay, so I think we're moving on. Um, I think what like, before, when it becomes clear that Corey's not gonna look around, mm -hmm. I think I think Rita does kind of look back at Alistair. He's like, I look at Alistair. We'll go like sort of very prudently nod and goes back to his book bag. Heard him. 
because he has a book bag now. Yes. <laughs> um, we, I think we took some time to talk about like how students are students last night. <laughs> yes. Not a student. <laughs> um, and he takes out a clean piece of notebook paper. And he folds it into a little football. Okay. And he sticks it on the corner of his desk. And he flicks it at Corey's head. Roll volatile. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, you get hit in the head with a paper football. What do you do? Like three harm. It goes right over the German book into your forehead. And I think he like takes it, and I think he's he, first he assumes it's a message, so he opens it. It's blank, like your life. Yeah, he feels that internally in his soul. Um, <laughs> I think he looks at it. He looks kind of confused, and he like tries to look where the direction where it came from. Yeah, like, it's Alistair, and Alistair's staring at you. Corey makes eye contact with with Donovan, and it's like, did you, did you see that? Like, like shows him this like blank piece of paper. Like, Donovan's like staring into the video game he's playing on his phone, <laughs> so he doesn't seem to react at first. Do you I'm say he's staring right at you? And she sits right next to Donovan. It's gonna be so awkward for like I don't know Dixie. <laughs> for Dixie, <laughs> yeah, he like he, he like he like taps Donovan. What? And he's like he like holds a piece of paper and then like nods his head towards Alistair and is like, like he and, like like whispers he's like he just hit me with a paper. This is nothing. Donovan does the same like head bob but towards Karina and goes, yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> Dixie says, Corey, look at Karina. Corey turns and looks at Karina. <laughs> Roll hot. You're wearing his sweatshirt. Aww. <laughs> Donovan are, will you... look at Dixie and be like, thank you. <laughs> and then go back to his phone. He's like, why didn't you just fucking say it, Donovan? Uh, right. oh, thank me, man, man up and do it yourself next time. He's like, Dixie. <laughs> or woman up, I don't know. Eight. Eight hot. Eight hot's pretty hot. Uh, yeah, it's like fully off one of her shoulders. <laughs> uh, so let's read the options for the folks playing at home. You can give a string, promise something you think Karina wants, get embarrassed and act awkward, or give yourself to Karina. I don't see that one happening right now. I don't know about yeah. you. He's gonna but get embarrassed he... and act awkward. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I think he, he does. He turns a little red, um, looks it over, and then just sort of hey. leans over to her desk. And hey. he's just like, hey, wasn't yeah, expecting to see you here today. Why? Well, oh, I you thought you were in. I thought you were, I thought you were home he like pointedly says like I was... at your dad's place no well you I went, went there home last night like I... home home I... I don't know how am i supposed to know that you 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 left and like didn't hear from you all night or this morning i mean i don't text you all the time every day well no but like i don't know you just walked out in the middle of our not date you were mean to my friend and i was worried about him he just left and i went to go check on him and then i had to do freaking homework for jack about a thing i have to do tonight for him and he just like sort of like go for it morning you didn't text me or anything I was almost, almost missed school because of you <laughs> no it's no it takes it's 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 an awkward pause <laughs> that happens in game and Corey like he's like I'm sorry that I made you almost late I just okay. Didn't. She looks immediately would. really embarrassed at having said that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. You just. 
you left and you didn't say anything and I didn't hear from you and I just thought that maybe you wanted to be with him and didn't want to be around me. What? I don't know, you, you sided with him and then there was someone that was staring. I didn't take sides, there weren't sides. Mean to my friend, and he just left, and I was worried about him. And he was mean to me too. I. <sighs> hey. He um... was a little beaded. I'm sorry. He doesn't understand how he would talk because none of them do. <laughs> Did she say he doesn't understand how humans talk? <laughs> <laughs> You're not um... supposed to answer that. He, he's trying to help. He's not very good at it. But like when when he when he knocked Mr. Mole hair out, he was doing it because he th he thought that it would keep you from getting into trouble. He was trying to help both of us. Time out. Alistair was like very purposely pretending to not pay attention. Had like pulled a Corey and like put his head in a book. But now he's staring at you, Krina, and like like. He's giving you that look like you broke rules while in the fake court kind of look. Like, <laughs> like, like you were now talking critical. about things you were not supposed to talk about. I think Krita like... Corey just Donovan's decides. just like watching and listening now. <laughs> like, I think most of the room is, frankly. We should talk later, just the two of us, maybe, as he like realizes that everyone's looking at them. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. What'd How you much later? Uh, after school? I have to go right to the... Go right to do that thing for Jack at the, the Ren Fair. Shit, I'm not trying... I... I could... He leans in, like, looks... Like, looks... Where, where's Miss, Mick Thunderbird? At the desks, watching you. I'm gonna lean in so they can't like see my mouth and like put my hand against Queen's hair, like brush her hair aside so I can. Donovan like, lifts his phone her. back up and leans towards Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah, it probably looks like they're about to make out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> leans in a little, and is just like I, I really don't want to, but I'll I'll, I'll skip a a class for you. What what class should I skip when? Get my schedule here real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Priorities. I, I have. Oh, let's skip math class. I hate math class. I hate math. Second what period. period is your a second? Okay. Shit. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll, okay. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll, For, I'll meet you upstairs. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll go to the room. Okay. I... I'm sorry. And then he, like, pulls away. Oh, I, I think Krita will actually try to, like, kiss you really quick. Oh. Like, pull away. He, like, I think like, he gets, like, the um, saw and then kiss happens. Yeah! And then the bell rings, because that was an awful long two minutes. Um, but dramatics. Um, nobody ever tried to time a class on a TV show. It's not fun. Anyone notice those CW episode first period classes take, yeah. like, two hours? Don't worry <laughs> about it. It's not a big deal. Um, or sometimes five minutes. You know, don't worry about it. Let start. Yeah. Oh, Donnie. What's up? Uh, Donovan's going to try to catch Wolf in the hallway. Oh, I think that's very possible. Wolf's moving kind of slow right now. Um, yeah. Ah, like a wounded gazelle. <laughs> Exactly. Yes, nice. exactly like a wounded gazelle. Yes, just pounce. <laughs> Go for uh, it. So, Sorry, okay, I wasn't sure if we were going yeah, to no, right no, 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 yeah, I wasn't sure if I should. So Donovan will um, kind of like rush up to Wolf as uh, I'm sure Donovan would know where Wolf is going. Yeah, okay. he's going to that one class, you know. Yeah. Walker, maybe. Um, and so Donovan would catch up really quick next to Wolf. And, uh, hey, um... Um, I'm sorry if I made your night worse. Was your dad yelling at you? Did did you get in trouble? Uh, Wolf will kind of... He'll look away at first, but then, like, when, when Donovan's like, I'm sorry if I made your night worse. And then when he's like, did your dad yell or something, he'll look back and look, like, genuinely confused and be like, No. 
Why? Oh, I, I just assumed like you must have gotten yelled at after. Okay. Oh, I... no. I mean, it was fine. He wasn't angry, surprisingly, I guess. Okay. Um, you, you know I don't want to hurt you and make you upset, right? I think uh, Wolf kind of like pauses like he stops. They were walking and then he just like stops in the hallway and I assume Donovan also stops next to him. Yeah. Uh, and he will uh, take Donovan's hands and he'll say yeah I know you you wouldn't want to do that and it, it's fine really you didn't hurt my feelings or anything. Okay. Um, I'll see you. Uh, we don't have class before lunch, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Let uh, me we look. Have, but do, fourth by period by is by before lunch? lunch? Yeah, fourth period, then lunch. All right, so Donovan will say, I'll, I'll see you at Biolab then. And Donovan will lean in for a quick kiss. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll return it. Fine. Um, he's, you know, he doesn't, like, pull away or anything. He's just tired. <laughs> So he's just a little slow, but uh, yeah, and he's like, "I'll I'll see you then." Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, it'll, it'll it'll be good to talk then at lunch too. All right, um, have a good morning. And yeah, Donovan yeah, will too. make his typical awkward turn suddenly and head towards health. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. I have a, uh, a a suspiciously specific question, but. I noticed that, Natalie, you just unmuted yourself. And when I you did. unmute yourself, it's usually because you want to say something. I, What's it, up? I, did. I want to do a Bridget thing. What do you want um, to do? I want to find Marissa in the halls on the way to class. Oh, this is amazing. Fantastic. Great. I know. Isn't Marissa in a cheerleading outfit because it's pep rally? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Bridget has realized she has forgotten her, her cheer uniform. Great. So, yeah, you catch Marissa in the hallway. Yeah. What do you do? Marissa, I, I totally forgot my cheer uniform. We did, are pep rallies usually on Thursdays? Yeah, um, this one is, and it doesn't seem like you dressed unintentionally today. I mean, I was dressing for something else. I, yeah. I forgot about the, the pep rally. Yeah, yeah, I see. I see that. What are you going to do about it, Bridget? Do we have an extra... Uh, uniform in my size. <sighs> and she goes. You know what? I think we do actually. Oh, okay, I could I could just change at lunch real quick. Great, great. I will get that for you and bring it to you at lunch. Okay, th thanks. I'm on. I told Corey I would have lunch with him today. Um, he's dealing with some stuff. I'm trying to be a good friend. Yeah, be a good friend and then just change right before. You just gotta okay. cut lunch a little bit short, okay? Yeah, it'll be great. It'll it'll work perfect. Thank you, Marissa. You're amazing. Great. I'm gonna go in and give her a hug. And she gives you a hug and she goes, I am. <sighs> Thank you. And I think Marissa will walk away to go to class. Uh, I do want to propose something. Please. Uh, I have the condition. Try harder next time. Mm -hmm. When you screw up, what, some uh, screw up. Give yourself an appropriate condition mm -hmm. and take one forward. Yeah. What do you want to do? Um, uh, I was thinking of giving myself the condition. Is she still a cheerleader? Ooh. In the. Is she still a cheerleader? That might be what people are saying about her. Yeah, I, yeah, let's do it. Okay. I like it. Let's go and then for I it. Get a experience. And what's amazing about that? What's amazing about that is Marissa walks away, and as Marissa walks away, you know who you see just a, like a few steps behind Marissa, waiting to talk to you. It's who? Dixie. Oh. Well, that's on your mind, and she just sort of steps right into Marissa's spot. Hey, Dixie. And then she pushes you against the lockers. Oh. 
and she'll look at you and she'll say, what are you doing? I thought I would dress to impress you because I like you. And she'll look at you and she's going to do that one arm against the locker thing. Uh Uh-huh. And she's going to say, I feel like getting detention. Uh, Okay. And she's going to take you by the wrist and lead you to Uh the stairwell. Okay. Great. She doesn't bite her finger? (laughs) Yes, finger biting. I'm I'm glad I made the cast ridiculously happy in that moment, yep. y'all. <laughs> We're all like, yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> um, great. Um, does anybody else have something they want to do before first period? Great. Um, oh, I, w- I want to know something though. Great. Does Bridget show up to first period slightly late with smudged lipstick? Um, she doesn't show up to first period at all. I was going to say, I was oh, under the impression I, she wasn't going to show up at all. School's out for the day. Let's talk about this. Um, Bridget, I think uh-huh. Dixie is very interested in uh, in making out. Uh-huh. And um, mainly making out. Okay. Um, what is Bridget interested in? I think Bridget is going to try and push things further. Okay. I think she wants to be liked. Great. Um, can I roll hot? Please do. I would also like to give Dixie a string on her, me to use my new move. What's that? Which is unashamed. Mm. Uh, it's a fey move. You can give someone a string to add three to your attempt to turn someone on. Oh, we'll go for it then. Your yes. three hotness. <laughs> With my three hot. <laughs> yes. Please I roll. cannot possibly fail. fail. Don't say that. Don't jinx it. <laughs> Please. So that's a 14. Great. I <laughs> and powers. Oh, Hot. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you gain a string in return. Okay. Um, I have to remember to give Dixie her string. Let's see. Where is my Dixie? There's my Dixie. Dixie. I think Brid, uh, not Bridget, as I wrote the word Bridget. I think Dixie will. Give but not receive. She wants okay. to wait and she tells you that. Okay. Now, do you, th- cons- does Bridget consider that sex? Yes. Okay, for great. Sure. What is, so first of all, they're not going to first period. I think that's clear. <laughs> Um, what, um, what's your sex move? Would you tell us? Uh, when you have sex with someone, both players secretly write down whether the sex was confusing or soothing for their character. If you reveal the same answer, both characters mark experience. Great. Do you have them? Do you have them? Do you have them? I do. Yes. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited too. I as soon a, as I realized, a, a I was like, I was like, mine, yes. And so they'll both be special. The audience doesn't know what we're talking about. They no. don't, but they're they gonna say will. wills very yeah. soon. Okay. So wills. it's it's confusing or soothing, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm like mm-hmm. literally bouncing in my feet. I know. Me too. Okay. <laughs> I've got mine. Okay, have... I've got mine. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Yay! So they, uh, you mark XP, is that the correct? Yes. Okay. Oh, God! Uh, so does Dixie. Dixie gets XP. Dixie doesn't get XP, <laughs> sorry. Um, she does in our so hearts. So these cards yeah. were made for me by my good friend, Stephanie. Wait, no, we don't get to see the other one unless it happens. No, they don't get okay. to see it. Thank you. But hopefully Bridget never has confusing sex. Cards. Isn't that, they're so cute though, isn't that? I the confusing know. ones have little bunnies on them. I know. That are running bunnies. away from each other. 
because they were running mood, away really. from each other. That's so cute. God damn uh, it, Stephanie. I love it. So yeah, that happens. Um, Oops, I gave myself harm instead of XP. It was, yeah, I just saw that. I was like, <laughs> this was some interesting sex. It was sex. some very exciting sex. <laughs> Maybe some people find that soothing. Mm. Um, what a bow. So, first period. Are you level happens. 10 yet, Natalie? <laughs> Natalie's not even level 3 yet, all right? Relax. Relax. Don't go up to 10 here. Um, what if we did? All right. Relax was the words of the day. Okay. Words of the just day was seasons. relax. Okay. That's one word. <laughs> you said the word of the day. We're supposed to get excited. Oh, he said the words of the day. But so, relax is only one word. Donovan ah! and Corey anyway. have health class with Marissa, Alistair, and other people. Oh, Bridget is so screwed for not showing up to this class. Like, everyone is in that class. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Corey shoots Go ahead. the thumbs up emoji. <laughs> Corey shoots who with a thumbs up emoji? Bridget a thumbs up emoji. Wow. Okay, so that'll be something to look at later on your phone. <laughs> yeah, just, just see if she's not there. And um, Wolf and Karina have biology with Dixie missing. <laughs> Wolf just looks very confused. <laughs> I kissed. Bridget kissed her last night. And now she's missing. Oh. <laughs> That's super awesome. Is that the way they were looking at each other in whole room? No, I, I, I didn't. It was really cute. Corey oh. texts Karina. That's awesome. Like... Corey texts Karina and is like, Bridget is missing. And, all, and back in all caps with like six exclamation points, Dixie is missing! <laughs> High five emoji. High five emoji. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, Wolf, I'll show that to Wolf. Yeah, and Wolf, like, he's doing his best to seem very excited. Because he is. He's happy that, that Bridget's happy, but he's just, like, also very tired. So he's like, yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, you can't fall asleep, Wolf. You're better than I am in biology. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to very hard. I think... Uh, I help you with Latin and you help me with biology. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> I don't think Karina says that quietly. No, she doesn't. <laughs> And I think Mr. Drake will walk by because he's definitely one of those teachers that walks up and down the aisles and oh, says, I, I agree, Mr. Freeman, you cannot fall asleep in biology. I'm awake. Yes. I'm awake. Congratulations. Uh, now that we are all up to date on people's level of awakeness, let us continue. Cuttlefish. Um, <laughs> Mr. Drake is... Um, yeah, cuttlefish. Cuttlefish in the relation to the Nuba Branch sea slug. Cuttlefish. Uh, cuttlefish. Oh, I love you, Rob. Okay. All right. You're ridiculous. Does anybody do something during first period? Take notes. Great. Take. I have an end of first period thing, but not a during. Please, what is your end of first period thing? Uh, Donovan wants to approach Alistair. Great. Go for it. So as they leave class, Donovan just walks up wherever Alistair's going. Yep. says, uh, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. Um, is everything with Karina okay? Is, like, is, um, and, and I don't mean, like, personally, I mean, since you're here and the others have been around, and I know there was something with Corey last night, which I'm sorry about he's really you know trying to figure out everything since everything changed but is everything okay like Faye wise like tanya came to our party and just should i be helping with something is everything all right um he's gonna step aside for a second and he's gonna say this may sound callous i do not mean it to be but there are certain things I cannot tell you. No, I, I understand that. But um, what I can tell you is that the best way for you to help Karina right now is to not help Karina right now. Oh. 
Okay. Um, I and mean, that I is just... nothing on you. I think for a vampire, you're a fine one. Oh. I mean... No, I I meant that, but I shouldn't have said it as loud as I did. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I mean, considering your station power, longevity, I, I don't know. I don't like to assume anything, but considering. Um, okay. Um, th- thanks. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll bear that in mind. And I think more, Donovan not trying to, but more feeling com- complimented and a little assured, Donovan will try to like take Alistair's shoulder and kind of smile and kind of shake it a bit more like, like he does with the rest of the football team and kind of... Um, I'm wanting to do a bit more roll hot than Donovan is, but Donovan would take it and kind of like squeeze and say, thank you. That that means a lot to me. I appreciate it coming from you. Okay. I think if Donovan's not intentionally doing it, I don't want you to roll. Good. But okay. I think Alistair will take your opposite shoulder and shake you back because um, he's seen football players shake each other and he's yeah. trying to fit in. Okay. Um, so, but I don't think it's quite like the way football players shake each other, but you know. Great. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Donovan just kind of smiles. Okay, th- thanks. Um, uh, I, I, I really appreciate that. I'm having a day, uh, but I'll, I'll try to just leave, leave her alone. But let, let me know, because definitely I, I, I owe her, and I would never not help fulfill what I owe, especially to Karina. Good. So, yeah. Good. Okay. He's going to let go of you, turn around, and yell, Lumberjane football rules! And walk to the next class. Donovan, like, for a minute, like, goes, oh, yeah, woo! And then head off to class. He's really good at this. God. Um, It's a freaking mess. Everything's a mess. (laughs) I I wrote in chat how everyone's, like, super awkward with each other, and then there's just Bridget just living her best life. Bridget's, you know... I love it. No, I, I love it. Um, so before our second period, where two people have to meet up, it is just about nine o'clock. So what a time! What a time to be alive! What a time to take a break! Um, uh, we'll see everybody again in like ten to fifteen minutes. Uh, go get a water and do do your thing. Bow. Do what you want to do. Mm-hmm.
Hi everybody, welcome back to Monster Hearts Monday, the greatest Monster Hearts all Monday in the world, <laughs> where you get to see us play Monster Hearts on Monday. Um, when we last saw our heroes, yeah, heroes? yeah ish, you know. Some people call heroes? the Punisher a hero, so... I mean, I, I was just thinking more about Thor. Thor our heroes. Thor. Thor was my face was for. Sometimes I go to Ark and Thor, and I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm sorry. I just want to You hang out with Amish people? I don't know. Are there Amish people in Amish Arkansas? In Arkansas? I thought they were a Pennsylvania thing. I, I mean, I'm sure they're in more than one place, actually. That's that's. Some really... in Canada. I know that. Yeah. Anyway. 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 <laughs> Speaking of anyway, the Amish, jinx. it's now second period, and uh, <laughs> that made me giggle. Um, I, I think uh, Bridget uh, Dixie might want to go to second period. How about you? Yeah, I'll go to second period. Okay, cool. Um, but you know who's not going to second period? Karina and Corey, because they have a date on the third floor. We're all going to be in detention not a date. together. <laughs> Not a date, they don't date. Uh, I do want to say that, Bridget, when you get your phone and check it, in addition to having the thumbs up from Corey, you've also got, like, just, like, three in a row completely pictographic, like, emoji-laden text from Krina that basically translates to, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> There's, like, several black hearts and, like, sparkle hearts and, and like, a dancing lady and, like, all kinds of stuff. Like, Please lots don't... of two ladies kissing. Like, every what? variation. What's the thing on phones where you make the thing of yourself? What? The bitmoji thing? Bitmoji, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm just like a dancing totally bitmoji Krina. A dancing bitmoji Krina. Like... Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> I will I, uh... say, I think Dixie's the type of person who would take a few minutes at the end to like find her lipstick and, and make sure it's not all over you. Okay. That's nice. That's very sweet. Just saying. Dixie looking out. And that expects you to do the same. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, I guess this is a goth problem, huh? It's, you know, some <laughs> lipstick is more noticeable than others. I, if, you, if you're wearing fresh lipstick, everyone should do this, okay? You gotta go back to class. You don't want lipstick everywhere, but... Anyway, I digress. Um, where, what were we talking about? Oh, Karina and... Corey. Karina and Corey meet on the third floor. Uh, I have a question for you, Brian. Please. Does Alistair skip second period too? No, I don't think he does. He doesn't. Nope. Okay. I, uh, yeah, you don't need to know why I think that. I take it back. I was going to explain okay. it to you, and then I was like, no, this is information you should find out on your own, as part of a game. Okay, sure. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, he doesn't. Wait, was he supposed to? He wasn't supposed to, right? You didn't tell him to. We didn't get a chance to talk because he, we still haven't fixed his schedule so that he has all the same classes right. as me. He's still going to other classes. He's still I didn't know to, like, a mix of if he actually would, as my bodyguard, follow me or not. No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, without the thing, he does not. Um, so you go to the third floor theoretically alone, but with Corey. Yeah, meet Corey up in the normal classroom. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think out of habit, he opens the drawer that he keeps the condoms in. Because he just like walks into the room, he opens that drawer, and he just like realizes for a second that's not exactly what they're here to do, and just like closes it. It's just like force of habit. He walks in, you do that, you know? Yeah, I think Kurt is there first, and she just kind of like notices, and then just like sees him close it. <laughs> Hi. Hey. <laughs> um, so I'm sorry I didn't text you. I didn't think you'd worry. I, I should have asked. I should have messaged you and asked 
you can't just like how you said yesterday i can't know if if you're that unless i'm you know you can't know unless i say something i stephanie does not remember that so oh so sure. i think there was something where like <laughs> where, where where krino was like um you know, but I can't expect you to know that this means something to me if I don't say it to you. Was part of like their conversation. I have no memory and, of that, but I believe you. Yeah. And then so Corey, yeah, he's like, you know, you're you're not gonna know if I don't tell you. And maybe I I should have said something like, hey, let me know if you're coming back. What are we doing? What? Like what, what are what are we doing? We're talking? No, not like right now, but like... like does like the thing where he periphery waves around like the whole space, like... Like, what are... Creed is not going to get it. He's going to like spell it out. I As Bridget so rightly pointed out this morning, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. Whatever this is. And I think I'm fucking it up. And I just want you to be happy, but I keep messing up. And I'm sorry, but I don't. Oh. 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 Um. And I. <sighs> I've never I know done it either, and I feel like I keep fucking it up. I don't, I know it's, it, like, your dad said that it's, it's different, like, because you're you and I'm me and we're, like. What? Yeah, on, on the car ride uh, to the party, I rode with your dad because he was at my house um, when stuff happened with, and he, like, looks a little away and, like, definitely, like, a. Okay. But anyway, um, but in the car, he was like, you know, don't take any of this like you know you're gonna you're gonna forget about me one day i'm not you don't you know you're not a part of this you're gonna leave you're gonna leave me what dad said i'm good he, he said, said it's just, that to you yeah i'm i'm just a guy and you're a fey princess. And it's not f fair of me to be holding you back from all of that. Shut up! <laughs> and I think Creed is going to over and just like slam into him and like hug him as tight as she can. Aww. I don't want to forget about you and yeah i'm a fade and princess and all that but like i am also human Corey. and i'm so mad at my dad right now this is all his fault i, I think i'm also partially to blame but i will put some on him if that's your desire wait why are you at fault what is i Maybe I should have like talked to you sooner about being scared or whatever. And he like he says the last like like admitting that he's scared like real quietly. Like it's like he doesn't want to say it, but he says it. Why are you scared? I don't know what I'm gonna do if I lose you. If I if I let myself have someone have something real, and then I. I lose it again. Nothing, nothing I ever have is is tangible or stays. 
I don't I don't think I'm meant for stuff like that. You know, Donovan's going to move on. And my family <laughs> threw the baby out with the bathwater. Fuck your family. You're terrible people. <laughs> I don't have, uh, you know, I have you, but Nolf is sometimes there and, and Bridget, maybe. I don't know. Um, but what else? <laughs> What else do I really have? If if, if you're, you're going to go back to the Fey world and but I I'm not going back to the Fey world. I'm here. And I don't want to lose you either. And, like, Creed is very much not looking yeah. at Corey. <laughs> yeah, and Corey, like, reaches out a hand and, like, brushes a bit of her hair behind her ear. And it's just, like, you're amazing. You're, like, a hummingbird in action. You're bright and you're brilliant. And you you flit around at levels I can barely catch with my eyes. And, like, I, I said it before in the car before the values. I don't want to be the person that takes that away from you. I I really like you, Corey. I really, really, really like you. And Corey, I think, does that very CW show thing where he takes Karina's hand and like puts it on his chest and his heart is just racing. I think you should roll hot because that was like one of the sweetest things that anyone's ever said to, to Karina. Um, flash me. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh, it's ten. Well, on a ten, you gain yeah. a string, and they get to choose to give yourself, promise something. Well, you don't do that though, and or get embarrassed and act awkward. I did make a promise to Corey once. <sighs> <laughs> Um, I think Krina will finally, like, look, uh, look you in the eye, and she'll, like, holding your hand there. I, I think, I think I love you, Corey. <laughs> That's, uh, giving myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiss, yeah. 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 <laughs> And I think Corey, like, he can't look at her when he says it. And I think he, like, high, leans down, ducks down quite a bit because there's a height difference. And, like, hides his head in, like, the side where her hair is, like, by her ear. And he just, the quietest of whispers. I, I love you, too. <laughs> and... Is this... Are you my boyfriend now? Do you want me to be? Yes! Yes. Then I... F I think I am. Cool. And I'm your girlfriend, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that, that that's definitely how that works, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You, should, do, yeah. Do you want to be? Do you want to yes! be? Okay, yeah, we could, we could, we could, we could call it that. Yeah, we could, we could definitely, definitely call it that. And like, he's so red, like. That's super red too. Just. Yeah, I think there's at this point lots of making out. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, would Krina take it further? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. Wanted they to. they yeah. definitely have sex. Yeah. Great. Uh, well, uh, before we get to the sex moves, quick aside. A wolf, about um, 15 minutes into second period, uh, Alistair's phone starts buzzing. 
Um, and you, which is, I don't think you've ever seen Alistair get a text message, but you've only known Alistair for a couple of days, really. And, um, uh, well, you saw him a couple of times sans cell phone before this. And, uh, he seems confused, too, that he got a text message. And, uh, he pulls his phone out and he looks at it and he, he just has, like, this instant, like, relief. And he puts his phone back in his pocket. That's cool. I don't think Wolf knows Alistair enough to be like, hey, what's going on? It's but fine. I think he'll, he'll I, make a note of it and be like, okay. Cool. I needed the audience to see it, so I used Wolf because you're in the class. Uh, that's fine. That's all he's good for. Okay, okay. great. No! Hey! <laughs> no, I love him. Anyway, continue. Uh, Kakrita, uh, what's your sex move? When you lie naked with another, you can ask them for a promise. If they refuse, take two strings on them. Mm, what do you think? Do you think that happened? Yeah, I think you already got naked. Okay, cool. Uh, For got opened again. <laughs> what kind of promise you want to ask this time, Krina? This is a big uh, one. Yeah, why don't we have Corey read his sex move? Okay, let's stall. <laughs> Corey, <laughs> what's your yeah. sex move? Uh, when you have sex, heal all of your wounds and cure all of your conditions. Oh! Uh, oh, if they okay. disgust you, give them a string. If you disgust yourself, give them a string. Uh, I don't think anything about this was disgusting. I think it was wholesome and delightful. Fuck you, world. Yeah. Um, but you get but he's answer. definitely not dumped. For sure. No. He's officially actually boyfriend. Mm -mm, and no shame. And he's no longer shamed because he talked out his feelings. And I should point something out here. I don't want to pressure Stephanie the player. Because the sex move specifically says you can ask them for a promise. Not that you do ask them for a promise so this is completely... why would i not ask for a promise wow <laughs> maybe to make it a sweet fucking moment stephanie but go ahead <laughs> promises can I be mean, sweet Ryan. i think it was a pretty sweet fucking moment <laughs> but you know oh. it was a, a fucking moment and, and a fucking sweet moment. so fair yeah so, so fair. i don't have that condition anymore <laughs> well karina doesn't but stephanie does <laughs> did you think of a good promise um, kind of. Uh, <laughs> I thought of a promise that I think Karina would ask for. Okay. Um, I think afterwards when they're, like, <laughs> laying on this gross classroom floor. <laughs> no, oh my god, they're on the desk. Ew. They're on the teacher's desk. The long teacher's desk. In the drawer yeah. under the condoms, there's sanitary wipes, you know? Like, come on, man. Maybe we keep a blanket stashed up here, too. No, there's Aww. definitely a blanket. There's okay. definitely a blanket. Corey <laughs> has, like, three, there's probably three different no yes. we're, we're okay anyway um <laughs> i think they're cuddling afterwards regardless and i and i think krina um i think krina like takes Corey's face and, and looks at him and says promise me you'll always like talk to me like that with words like use your words about how you feel god <laughs> he promises <sighs> He's gonna get fucked, but he promises. He's gonna time that one. <laughs> yeah, somebody said they put up a timer somewhere. See how long if this takes it's just, uh, over. It's just like season one. <laughs> I was gonna say, is this over or under the "Don't do something stupid" one? <laughs> uh, wow. So that was second period. I also think all during that, Bridget's phone was or not Bridget. I keep calling Krina's. other character Krina Bridget. Krina's phone was. Oh. Right! Text messages. Right! I forgot about that. <laughs> so, at the end of second period, as you're, you know, kept, you know, putting your putting yourself together, getting a breather, um, <laughs> uh, you 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 look at your phone, maybe, Karina. What do you think? Yeah, probably. And is is it like a whole diatribe, Bridget? Yes. Yeah. What does it say? I think at first there's a bunch of question marks because Bridget has never been able to, to it's decipher your emoji speak. <laughs> um, no one ever has. Um, and then there's, so yesterday I, uh, I, I ran into a vampire. Well, we literally ran into each other and he accidentally tackled me, but he ended up being really nice. His name is Sebastian. Um, I, he thought I was a fae because I smelled like you apparently, but I told him I 
but I told him I wasn't and that I knew you and that we were friends. Um, and uh, I asked, he doesn't know Donovan, so don't worry <laughs> about that. And uh, he bought me a sword to make up for knocking me over. So I have a sword now. Isn't that cool? Exclamation point. Um, <laughs> it's bigger than your boyfriend's. <laughs> um, I told him, you know, he seems really nice. And I told him I would put in a good word for him. Like maybe, you know, you should hear them out and help them out with whatever they want. Um, if you want to talk about it, or I can come and help you today because I know him. Just, just let me know. I'm, I'm going to be at the Ren Fair af after school anyway. I think Karina just makes a series of faces while she's like reading her phone. <laughs> hey, <laughs> like definitely uh, does smell herself at one point. <laughs> hey, and I think Corey. Oh, Corey walks over and after he gets dressed, and he like gets behind her and like puts his arms around her and like tucks his head over her head. Um, and it is just like. Hey, hummingbird, uh, what's on your phone? Uh, hey. I, Karina, like, definitely leads back into it. Um, do you want to come to the Ren Fair with me after school? Um, I, I have, have to do something for Jack. And, um, Richard just made it a lot harder. Now I'm kind of worried. What, what happened and how is Bridget involved? And at this point, I think he turns her around so he can, like, Yeah, I, I, I'll just, like, explain it. Like, I have to, like, t tell yeah. the renegotiate lines of the vampires, <sighs> but I'm supposed to just tell them no, and now Bridget's involved, and, like, the vampires aren't supposed to know about Donovan, and now they know, and... <laughs> yeah, let me just text Mr. Mulhair and say I can't go to work today. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Um, I'll have lunch with you and Bridget? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. we're, we're gonna, listen, hey, hey. And he's gonna, like, grab his shoulders, and he's gonna look at her and say, you don't give yourself, like, enough credit for it, but you can handle this. You handle people really well, and you know what you're doing, and even if it's complicated right now, like, you're gonna kick ass at this political shit. You practiced. You did your homework. Jesus, who is this bad who has replaced Corey? <laughs> he's replaced Corey. Corey does these things. We just didn't get to see it because we skipped over the month of half of them dating really cutely. And then we went into bullshit. Like, I feel like you should roll hot again, but I don't know if like, the rules are okay. like that fast. I don't know what part of Zeus we played last night, but you're welcome. <laughs> you mean Hades, but I forgive you. Yes, sorry. <laughs> We don't play Zeus with Zeus. is very different in this context. <laughs> Zeus is in there. He is. There. He is, but Corey never picks him. <laughs> Sorry, I just have a blood contract on my mind that's in my study. Never mind. It's okay. It's oh fair. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So yeah, that was second period. Yeah, I'll, I'll text Bridget and be like, yeah, we'll talk about it at lunch. That's cool. <laughs> I, I want to see your sword. I text back, I'm having lunch with Corey. Oh my, we'll all have lunch together. Giggity. Oh, you um, should probably check with Corey. I, I know you two were uh, upset with each other. I, I don't want to make things weird. It's all good now! Like six exclamation points. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. All right. Does anybody have something they want to do before lunch? Oh, a really quick question, clarifying question. Yes. Does Krina tell Corey to not tell anyone about this? About what? Oh. About oh, the... the meeting. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant dating. I <laughs> know, me too. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I guess there's that too, but I meant the meeting. It didn't say it, <laughs> but I also said things like nobody's supposed to know. <laughs> I th I think she doesn't actually explicitly say don't tell anybody about it. But I think it's kind of assumed that you wouldn't and you would know not to. Whether or not Corey actually makes that assumption, I'll leave that up to you, okay? And Corey has had some yeah. insight lately into like supernatural meetings happen, you know? So yeah. um, maybe yes, leaning I... towards the side of knowledge. Yeah, so okay. I, yeah, I think he, um, just in between, like before he gets in his class, he's gonna like message Mr. Mulhair mm -hmm. and be like, uh, I have to deal with some supernatural stuff. I don't think I'll be able to make it into work today. Sorry for the late notice. 
Okay. Uh, managed to not stain myself yesterday. He'll he'll text you back, and he'll he'll say, "Do you have everything you need?" I could maybe use something if you if you have anything special, maybe. Um, and he'll say, "I'll close the library." At, mm-hmm. at the end of my shift, can you meet me at the Ren Fair? <laughs> Perfect. He goes, okay. And he goes, and he goes, and what do you mean by special? It's important to someone I care about. That doesn't help me pick what to bring. Oh, he writes down, um, he sends a, a bat emoji and a and fairy wing emoji. <laughs> it, it, and you'll you'll get a thumbs up emoji. Back. <laughs> wow! Great. Does anybody else have something they want to do before lunch? Super. Let's go to Donovan. Donovan. What do you want to do during lunch? Are you going to sit with the football team? You got other things in your mind? Um, Wolf and I are going to talk. So Donovan's oh. going to be looking for Wolf. I forgot about that. I'm sorry. I thought you were just being mean. I'm like, I really no. wasn't. I'm, I'm just, I got so distracted. <laughs> it was a very distracting second period. I'm sorry. My emotions. Yeah, I imagine Donovan would like walk towards the calf and presuming he didn't see wolf immediately he'd send wolf a text like hey do you want to meet outside or something yeah i think you would get a text donovan would get a text like hey meet me on the third floor donovan it's replied, private so donovan replies sure sure and head up there cool so we know that's happening uh let's follow that thread a little bit more we've already had a decent amount of show from the other three let's keep keep that thread going giggity 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 so y'all meet on the third floor yeah i think wolf is probably waiting like in one of the classrooms and i don't think it takes long for donovan to find him great just by peeking in the classrooms or whatever yeah um donovan's pretty like nonchalant walking through the hall but then as he gets to the door like walks in slowly and like slowly shuts the door but has like an upturned eyebrow hey hey uh and wolf he has he's like sitting at one of the like empty desks uh he's got like his backpack like next to him he's not like in any state of undress or anything (laughs) um even though they're on the third floor um and when Donovan comes in, he like stands up. And... We can sit. I mean, that's yeah, that's um, fine. Maybe is, is you this should a... sit. Uh, oh, sorry, um, that sounded really so, ominous. No, I... no, that that's. Too. I'm sorry. That's fine. Um, sh- sure. And Donovan will take a seat in the desk. Um, diagonal kind of like from the one wolf was at and kind of just like pivot in the seat and look at wolf i think wolf looks uh he looks at this point he looks really nervous and really that up until now that was kind of like the big thing uh he was tired yes but he was also just very nervous for this conversation so um and I think he leads off with, he's just like, are you okay? You, you know, you left pretty quickly last night. And, you know, I'm sorry if I upset you. I didn't mean to. No, um, I'm fine. I'm, I thought I made things worse. And so, um, I mean, whatever you got to say, that's, that's okay. Yeah, I, um, you know, I wanted to um, just kind of talk to you about that, actually. Is that all right? Yeah, I, I figured. That's that's fine. It's fine. Cool. Um, so, and I think, like, 
after saying that, he just like looks down at his hands, and and you can see, well, Donovan can see, uh, Wolf's got like his hands in his lap, and he's like clutching them together very tightly, <laughs> um, and he just stares at them as he talks, and he says, um, you know, I haven't really told anyone this before, so um. Um, uh, oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh. So, just don't take it the wrong way. And uh, if you no, can... I mean, I, I mean, whatever you have to say. Um. You. You know, I wouldn't be angry with you or. What I mean, you know, if you needed to tell me something, and, you know, I, I wouldn't. I mean, I might be a upset you know if things were to have to change but i um i like you and i don't want you to feel like you can't you know be honest with me but you're not breaking up with me then no 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 it's it's not oh, like that okay I'm sorry i should have made that more clear yeah um and donovan like straightens up a bit um i thought that's what this was no, I, I mean, I would never want to break up with you. I just, you know, maybe you might want to break up with me after this, but. No, um, I thought you were scared to tell me because I'm what I am. And then you were because of, okay, so, sorry. What do you, what do you want to say? So, you know, ever since I was a kid, um, and there's like this very long pause <laughs> and then he, he restarts and he's like uh, you know maybe it would be easier if I told you a story um, you okay. weren't around in freshman year right this is out of character right Donovan moved like sophomore year he moved last year yeah yeah okay so um you weren't you weren't around freshman year um i uh was out sick for a week i had the flu at least that's what my parents told the school um i you know i was i was in this this regional swim meet. It was just me. Uh, none of none of the rest of the swim team. And I uh, didn't even get past the first heat. And you know, my dad, when we got back, he was really angry with me and he he said i i remember him saying how could you embarrass me like that i didn't raise my son to be a loser and you know he and and Wolf is having a very hard time telling this story. You can tell it. And the way that his voice wavers, you can tell that he's crying, but he's not, like, actively sobbing. <laughs> um, and he, he continues, and he says, I couldn't leave bed for a week after that. I was in so much pain, and I... What, what do you... Why were you in so much pain for a week? And Wolf doesn't respond right away. He kind of hesitates. And then he, he looks up and you can see there's like tears in his eyes. Because of um, your father? He he hits me, Donovan, when I make him angry, when I don't do good enough. And I know what it seems like and that's why I asked you not to jump to the wrong conclusion because what I said last night you know I mean it I, if, if I could 
be better if I could. That is do not better, but... right. There is no justification for that. And I, I think Donovan, who awkwardly positioned himself at like an angle um, because he thought he was getting broken up with, like tries to quickly stand and move to Wolf. Uh, maybe like has to push the desk a little clunkily and it's a little loud and Donovan will try to like hug Wolf really quickly. He doesn't move away. He doesn't quite hug back. He kind of, he leans into the hug, but he, um, he just says, look, I know what you think, but you know, it was good for a while. It, it, it hasn't been that bad since and I you know if I could just if I could just do better I could make them happy and no you you you're amazing and you try very hard and we are all human and make mistakes and that gives no one the right to hurt you does your mother know he uh well I guess I don't know if they could see each other at this point, like their faces, but Wolf was not making eye contact through any of this, and he just says, yeah, she does. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna focus on that right now. Um, I'm, I'm sorry I haven't realized more clearly sooner, but he... He should not be hurting you. That's that's wrong. And you're amazing and talented. And there's no justification for that. And it's very sadly kind and sweet of you to try and excuse his behavior. But that's, that's wrong. It's very wrong. He says... Um... Hey, Donovan, I have a question for you. Okay. Am I good enough? You're 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 more than good enough. You're amazing. I I don't I don't I don't know what I've done to deserve meeting you. It doesn't you're just I'm a monster. And you're uh, just like, uh, you, you have to be an angel to forgive someone who would treat you that way. I, and I, I know it's your dad and you're going to care about your dad, but we can't let that continue. We. It's fine, really. I. You know, I'm okay. I just, I remember asking myself, you know, how hard can it be to make one person happy? When they're not happy with themselves, very hard. I, I've been I, in some bad relationships and I've probably sought some parental figures in my time and they've used and hurt me. I can't imagine, I and I don't mean to trivialize what you're telling me, but that hurt and it wasn't my father. So I, I can't even imagine. I'm so, so sorry. Donovan like leans back so he can try to look in wolf's eyes. Yeah, he'll, I mean, he'll look up and you can just see that there are like these, uh, you know, tear tracks kind of running down his face. He's very good at crying very quietly, so. Wolf, you, you're amazing and I love you. No, he's I, I, I thought you were going to break up with me because of yesterday and instead you're trusting me. I don't even know how to process this 
other than you're amazing and Walt is a loser bastard asshole and doesn't deserve you as a son. I think Wolf is honestly a little taken aback because he was not expecting that response. Everything is going a lot better than he expected. Um, and I think Wolf might be able to tell that Donovan is like shaking a little, but looks like he's clearly trying to just hold himself in the moment with Wolf. Yeah. And I think Wolf will say, you know, I, I would never break up with you. I, I just thought maybe once you saw how you, much of a fucking failure I am, can't even make not, my parents happy. You are not a failure. You are, you, you've tried so hard at school and athletics, and I creepily even looked that up before we got together. So I know that's true. And you you try to help all your friends, and you're always friendly and warm. You, I mean, you put yourself in an incredibly dangerous supernatural scenario. Like, I can't even, I mean, it's straight out of the movies. I'm not, I wasn't kidding about the whole, I love Disney heroic movies more than horror because of those heroes. And that's what you are. I know it. Your father has put these thoughts in your head, and I'm sorry for that. And I'm sorry he's hurt you. And I know it's not just physical. I'm so sorry, Wolf. And this is... Have you told anyone, like, professional... No, you should not tell anyone. Please. I'm... I figured you wouldn't want... Well, you you need to... I'm... I'm so angry at your father and so disappointed in your mother. I... I don't, don't be. It's not their fault. Does he... hurt her? That's a good question, Brian. I think um, that you know that it's happened. Okay. I think then Wolf just nods. Okay. I... That can be tough, I'm sure. I... I... What what do you want? How how do I help you right now? That's not just me putting my anger out. What 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 how what um, what can I do? So we're still good, right? Yes. Um uh, we're, we're, uh, you, yes it's, okay you don't have to say anything I just that's all that I wanted to make sure because I was afraid you know that you wouldn't want me anymore you know I, I try so hard at everything and I do all of these things because I like to make my friends happy because that's all I can really do and I, I think that's amazing of you, but you can't allow yourself to be hurt like that f for him or for others. And you would be fully in the right if you had wanted to break up with me because of what I am. And I don't want you. And I'm so happy that you said something last night to me because I don't want you to be afraid to talk to me and be honest with me and I don't want to hurt you and make you feel like you're not good enough that's I'm that's devastating I'm I'm you're Donovan you're doing a, a great job and I you know you you talked about being a monster and not 
deserving. But I mean, I feel the same way. I don't know what I did to deserve you, but I'm going to try my best. So what what do you want next? I know what I want to do, but I also know what would be the right thing that you should talk to someone in official capacity about this because it is and I don't want to burden you with how I'm angry but you you have to tell someone about this that's not me and I really, I know maybe you don't want to now, but the guidance counselor, a teacher you trust, I, I yeah. am trying to suggest the right, mature, normal, mundane, right way to approach this, um, Wolf, because I don't want you to get hurt again and I know it took me a lot myself to get away from a bad situation. Um, you know, I'd looked for a family that I could trust and that I felt comfortable with and they just, it was bad and I thought it was good and it was bad. And I, what, what, do, what do you want? What can I do? You, you don't have to do anything, Donovan. Just knowing, knowing that I can trust you, knowing that, <laughs> and he kind of gives this very dry chuckle, knowing that you s still want me even after you know all this is enough, and I, I know that, so I know that I should tell someone, and I. I will. I just have to do it. Okay. So why didn't you sleep last night? You said he didn't hurt you. So what, what happened? I was doing homework and I was nervous to tell you about all this. Okay. Let me stop there... the scene for a second. Oh, oh, okay. This is a there's, very... like, there's like one more thing I want to say. Do that's it. Do not it. Okay. I, and I mean, I, at least for, for me, that was yeah. basically all I wanted out of that scene. Um, and I think that Wolf will uh, take Donovan's hands and, and look like into his eyes. And even though he's, his face is still a little wet from tears, he's got this very like sure, certain look on his face. And he just says, and Donovan, you know, I love you too. like that that's it that's, <laughs> that's it that's good that's really sweet that's a good sweet moment um this is what we're going to do uh that was sorry, a, sorry to be so depressed no, no 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 that was a very important scene and i'm i'm, I'm super uh proud of of both of you we're, we're gonna take a a quick break um and we will come back everybody in just a few minutes go ahead and drink some water okay
Hello, everybody, and thank you for staying with us. Uh, so we wanted to uh, take a, a, a pause there, and but we also wanted to bring you a little more uh, resolution to that scene without having to put everyone through it. Yes, Big Dad, we I told you to drink water, and now Big Dad insists that we all do the same. So um, uh, we talked about it, and... Uh, we decided that that conversation would continue on a little longer, that uh, Donovan would be very supportive, uh, but not try to push Wolf too much, would um, empathize and talk about how it took them years to sort of like find the strength to talk to somebody about their own uh, past traumas. Um, and Wolf agrees that they are gonna talk to a counselor uh, within the next couple of days. Um, so that's a very happy uh, thing there. Um, and again, we, we appreciate everyone's patience and what uh, uh, a big scene that was. 
Uh, yeah, glitch. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you later. Glitch is in the chat right now for those. Yeah, you missed. Uh... Yeah, some 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 big I, things. Uh, I'll catch you up. I promise. A lot, dude. I, I promise. A lot it was it was a lot to try to just like quickly summarize. You know, I'll I, get I imagine here. we just get like background music while the camera is focused on Wolf and Don and pulls out through the windows to the outside mm. and then goes down to the cafeteria. <laughs> and as and as part of our resolution, we cleared a couple of. Um, Conditions. Conditions were were cleared. Uh, creepy, and we cleared. Uh, creepy on Donovan. Threatened. And threatened on Wolf, to help showcase that. And so now we are going to jump to the cafeteria where we have a little a little friend lunch happening. A little friend lunch happening. Um, let's have Bridget. Us waiting and have the other two approach Bridget because I don't know I just like that camera shot for some strange mm -hmm. reason just Bridget being like everything's fine um having lunch with my friends planning about a fun vampire fay meeting um and um actually let's see where are Karina and Donovan coming from different places or the same? Not Karina and Donovan. Karina Corey and Corey. And Corey. I just keep showing up I and zoom backwards. Now, Karina and Corey uh, are coming from different places. But Corey was with Bridget. <laughs> oh, never mind then. So, uh, <laughs> in the same class. let's reverse it then. We'll reverse it. Oh, yeah, that's cute. It's Karina anxiously waiting <laughs> for, or happily waiting. I don't know. What's, what's your uh, adjective for waiting, Stephanie? Uh, I think bouncy. Bouncy, bouncily bouncy. waiting. Oh, is bounce. Alistair there with me? Would you like Alistair to be there with you? Yeah, I think so. Okay, then Alistair is because he would ask. Um... Yeah, I would just assume that he would be with me. Okay. Unless, like, I mean, I think he was in lunch with be. you yesterday. I think he too would assume that he should be at lunch with you. But if you were like, I have a thing to do, he would like go sit somewhere else. You know. No, no, I'm with me. All right, cool. So it's, 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 um, oh my gosh, this is fun. So I think let's start the scene with just you and Alistair. And Alistair uh, sits and he has his chili, um, as he has not learned to pack lunch yet. And um, he uh, pokes at it a bit and he looks at Karina and he goes, so Karina, did anything interesting happen today in the classes that I were not in with you yet? <laughs> I mean, I, the way you're asking me, like, I think you were talking to Sandra Ruth and I think they were watching. Uh, yes, yes. Do you feel better? Yeah, yeah, I feel a lot better. You I feel really good. It goes good. I am very happy. I, I want you guys to be friends. That may not happen, but I will attempt. Okay, I mean, yeah, as long as you... As long as you try. I... I... am very pleased that he makes you happy. Yeah. I, um... You're both really important to me. So I want you to get along if you can. I want you to be friends. But, yeah. Okay. Um, Bridget and Corey uh, are now at lunch too. Yay! Wait, you get waved down by a super excited Krita. He's like literally bouncing on her toes. Um, Did you respond to any of Bridget's texts? I can't remember. Yeah, I texted you back. Oh, yeah, that said, yeah, we'll talk at lunch. But you haven't told her that you're un unhappy, right? No. I think you were just like, okay, yeah. let's talk. I want to see your sword. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and then you were like, you should talk to Corey, and I said, it's all better! Like, six exclamation points. Uh, so where are they sitting, uh, seat-wise? Uh, at the table? Are they, like, are they like, across like from a, each other? Yeah, across from each other. Yeah! Okay. okay. That's how I Bridget will come it. and sit next to Alistair. Yeah, I think Corey's going to take the, the seat next to Krina, and he's going to, um, like... A little more awkward like usually he's very fluid when he like you know kisses Krina things like that but it's it's definitely a little more awkward um when he like kisses her and he's like uh hey hummingbird hey. and <laughs> just plops down uh takes his seat and like uh you know puts his arm around Krina's shoulder 
And he's sort of looking weirdly oh. intently at Alistair. I think you two work things out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we did. We're oh. uh we're dating. Oh. We're boyfriend and girlfriend now. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry about what I said earlier. Maybe I should get advice from you. <laughs> no. Don't do that. Um but uh you know maybe maybe we can go on a double date this weekend me and Karina and you and Dixie Dixie I'm trying, I'm trying to play it really cool with Dixie I I don't know she like I don't want to mess things up by being too eager like I did with Wolf I don't I guess there was another problem with Wolf Yeah I don't think that was the problem with Wolf and something tells me that uh, Dixie will not be perturbed by that. Yeah, Dixie yeah. knows about it. And she, she wants to be with you anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's good. <sighs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know if I'd phrase it anyway. Uh, yeah. I, I, I um, think she, she understands what you've got and like he's actually looking at Karina I think when he says this you've she understands what you've gone through and likes you battle scars and all I think Karina's completely think, oblivious to that <laughs> <laughs> I think Bridget kind of shrinks down at that a little bit and oh. then she's like we should talk about the empire's Bay." <clears throat> yeah um I've got some plans. <laughs> Corey, like, no, there are no plans. No. Well, no, no. My, my plan is to support you. I have to go talk to them alone. Yeah, no my plan one's is supposed just... to know. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna talk to them alone, and we could do what... make Corey part of your retinue. Could I be part of it too? I have a sword now. You have a sword now. Your sword? I could show you. You, you hit I him with the sharp you. end. I don't... Yes, it's true. But... But that's not... It's a little more than that. If your sword is sharp, I do not believe you can bring it into the Renaissance Fair. I bought it there. Did they wrap it before you left? Yeah. Then it is too sharp to bring back in. There are ways around that. But... I mean, yeah, like, Alistair and Sandra and Ruth will be there, and they have swords. Yes, hidden. And I can bring my sword. Jack my said sword I can. is too big to hide. Um, uh, I have to see your sword. I'm so excited to see your sword later. If... Anyway, um, but yeah, um, so you told Sebastian about Donovan? What? Yeah. Uh, he said Donovan is a rogue? Yeah, they're not supposed to know about Donovan. Because Donovan's not? not supposed to be in the valley. I didn't know that. There aren't supposed to be any vampire. I didn't know that till yesterday. There's supposed to be any vampires in Gehenna Valley. It's like a thing. Well, I, I asked. I, I just thought maybe they knew each other. And... Yeah, well, I'm definitely going to ask Donovan about them. If, they, if he knows anything about them. But Yeah, they said they, they seem to think it was they acted like it was weird that donovan wasn't part of a coterie like a little club or something should, oh, maybe that is weird if they know about donovan should we, we not tell donovan about them i know i it seems no, we too... should definitely tell donovan no if they know about donovan donovan should Sorry, know that... i messed yeah. things up uh, alistair hey, starts looking didn't... for donovan in the lunch room. you didn't we'll, mess we'll anything up bridget okay. you didn't know yeah you didn't know it's okay. I didn't know. I didn't know until yesterday. But in the future, should you make contact with a member of a supernatural subcommittee, please feel free to seek guidance before you tell them things. I mean, telling of one vampire that there's another vampire didn't seem that bad to me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, Bridget. You didn't have context, and... I, I would have done the same thing, I'm going to be honest. I would have said it too. Because I don't know. I just, I, you know, I, you know, I, I don't think you didn't, you know, you didn't have context, but just that's Donovan's 
private information to give out. It's fine. Whatever. Um, what did you what What did he tell you that they want? He said that they're looking to negotiate things, and I said, "Well, I know Krina," and he was like, "Oh, I won't hurt you if you know Krina for sure." Like he seemed. They know who I am. Oh, of course. Of course, I know who. Return to Alistair. They know who I am. Because <laughs> Krina, uh, I would say that a fair amount of people who have dealings with the Fae uh, would recognize your name. Yes. I mean, I didn't not think really. about that. That's you weird. were like attending stuff, you know. You like so if like you went to start attending stuff, like people are gonna know you and like. I've never really attended stuff before. But, but you attended stuff like you know this last month or so. You went and did things. Remember, Maybe, like boring fancy stuff. Yeah, but like that boring fancy stuff is where all the business happens. I sometimes my dad used to like make me go to certain things, and then people knew who I was sometimes. Well, just as an example, um, which vampire did you meet with, Bridget? Sebastian? Oh, their sire is Vincenzo. That's just one of the things you do. You look into people. Um, what do you know about this, Sebastian? Yeah, well, we didn't talk about vampires that much. We mostly just talked about rules and history in the books. It's still a very straightforward thing. Just because Bridget met them ahead of time doesn't change. Wait, who's Donovan's sire then? I, I, I think that is something that Donovan should decide whether to tell you or not. So I, you know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Rob, <Rough> face. But. <laughs> But uh, more importantly, this Sebastian, how do we know that he bumped into you by accident? He said I smelled like a fae and he thought I was Did one. He smell? Yes. I, I don't think so. Well, first of all, let, let, let me say, Corey, I am sorry how bluntly I spoke to you yesterday. Uh, but. You remember how I mentioned that Corey has a particular odor about him? Yeah, I mean, I think Corey smells nice, but... Well, I, the, the Fae are not necessarily known for their supernatural, all effectory senses. But having been around Fae for a long time, there is a distinct difference that I, I notice... The vampires often do have heightened senses and would notice that difference even more so. Like dogs? Yes, but let's okay. not make that comparison when a vampire is around. Oh, right, yeah, probably, probably a good idea, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm, and like Corey like, makes eye contact with and I'm sorry for my own name calling in that moment, which was reactionary and uncalled for. He's going to squeeze his hand really hard like, yay! I'm going to have a heart attack by the end of this episode. <laughs> um, so what is this negotiation for? Uh, they're like, um... And then Krita starts to like recite from a book. <laughs> and then, like, like Alistair made her memorize this passage last night about like renegotiating lines and territories, and, like divine rights of like supernatural beings and like mm -hmm. weird stuff. <laughs> um, Where he's probably the only one who really follows and it. And you guys are just yeah. gonna not give them anything? I mean, that's Jack says no. It's not the right time to renegotiate, and and they shouldn't really be calling for it. But like, it's their right to call for it. But it's all right to say no because it's not the right time. Seem nice. It's not that they don't get anything. It's that they get exactly the same amount that they got last time. But they they want more, and you have more. But oh, sometimes. Vampires, when they're clumped up together, not always, but some of them do have done some bad things. And it sounds like 
Jack is making a wise decision to prevent bad things from happening in Gehenna Valley. It's really as much as they're for their protection than anything. There are a number of fey line convergence points within Gehenna Valley. And should the vampires be practicing certain rituals, they may not go the way the vampires intend them to go. Also, vampires eat people and Faye don't, so I don't think it's a good idea to have more vampires in the valley. That's I also mean, they, a viewpoint. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the eating, it's actually kind of nice, and I mean, you don't have to, they don't kill people when they do it. Or, well, I mean, they, they, they can, can choose, they, could, they choose, good ones choose well, not to, and like, Corey, like, touches his chest a little... Anyway, it's not the right time. Like, like there's a, there's a certain time when they have to do it, and this isn't it. And they're like doing it early. Yeah, there's a, there's an etiquette. Etiquette's really important in a lot of like supernatural lines. I've I've learned. I think Bridget is getting visibly a little upset. Hey, hey, what's what's wrong? Why, why, what's, yeah, what's the you matter? You guys are all treating me like my judgment is so bad, and I don't know what I'm doing. And... No, I'm not. just he seemed nice and i don't see maybe, why but they should maybe they are nice maybe they are nice vampires and we can all be friends and we can hang out with them you know in like ch or something yeah. you know coming to hills or north Cliff. okay i just i just feel bad after how nice sebastian was to me last night that did i mean like you're really nice to your parents and sometimes they tell you no anyway How? So he just came up to you because you, you smelled like Faye. Yeah, I I just kissed Dixie at the, at the tarot reading. And I was wandering around and I got a turkey leg. And I went to the dancing thing and I was dancing with people. And he showed his fangs to me and I ran away because I thought one of them sent someone to kill me. Yeah, that's a good, that's good. Yeah. And... Uh, no, I mean, he wouldn't do that. He would not do that. But like fangs and then running, good idea. But like... Donovan wouldn't do that. Donovan cares about you a Donovan lot. Donovan seems really upset at me. What? No, yes, he's Brian. not. Oh no, Alistair, Alistair is raising his head. Yeah. Sorry. Oh. No, Alistair. Yes, uh, yeah. Alistair. I'm sorry. Just to clarify, you were at the fair for some time. Then you kissed the one known as Dixie, and it was shortly after that that the vampire bumped into you. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't she Wait, smell why? like Wait, someone Dixie's else? Wait, not a fae, is she? Not to my knowledge. Hey, do different fae smell differently? Like, does Karina smell different than, like, I bet you know, Corey you really smells else? like fae. <laughs> Especially right now. <laughs> I think it would depend Ew. on who was doing the smelling. What? I... What if... You know, I'm sure Tell he's seen really Tell me what you really mean, nice. Alistair. I don't mean anything yet. I just think it's interesting that it happened after you were physically close with the one known as Dixie and not at any point before it's that. It's a weird thing. Just, Alistair, real quick, if you're going to be around people, what? we don't say, like, the one known as Dixie, just around Dixie. But oh, Dixie yeah. is also a place. <laughs> not around here, though. Fair. Um, but, but, so, what it's if this great, guy though. picked you out, because you, he saw you around Krina, what if he was, like, stalking, and then, you know, noticed you'd been around Krina, or smelled Krina on you, and knew who that was, and was trying to ingratiate himself to you, so that he could use you to try and get to Krina? I mean, he was kind of cute, and he did hypnotize me, but not to do anything bad. I'm sorry? He hypnotized you? Yeah, he was just, I was freaking out and he just like pulled me away from like the chaos and freaking out like to, to a place to sit down where he could talk to me. We should skip the pep rally. No, I, I can't. I'm already pep in rally. enough trouble with You're Marissa. A lot. We should take you to meet someone who can decipher 
If you are still hypnotized. I'm not still hypnotized. Wait, would um, Donovan be able to tell? I don't think so. Uh, I know someone who might know. I am in so much trouble if I miss the pep rally. Do you, okay, Corey, who do you know who would know? Well, Mr. Molehair knows a lot of stuff and you know in his books and he's been the librarian. Teaching. Yes. He's kind of been he is, he is really showing smart. you things. You guys could also spend a string to get just Bridget to go. Yeah, we're gonna... to he also I miss the <laughs> works at the Ren Fair, correct? Yes. I think there is value in taking Bridget to see Mulhair immediately after the pep rally. And okay, yeah. I think that is something she should do mm-hmm. instead of being part of the negotiations. Yeah, I can I can take her there. But okay, then you, you won't miss the pep rally. Okay. And that is positive. Yeah. And this is an example of me trusting Corey. Yes, yes, thank you. It's good. Thank you, Alistair, and I am trusting you by not being nearby when Krina undertakes a dangerous thing and you have her life in your hands. Oh no, I will be going with Krina, but That's I... what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna I'm going with not with Krina or near Krina in the surrounding area. I am trusting you to handle that. Because you are going to go with Bridget. Yes. We are understanding each other. We I we mean, are Krina understanding takes like both their other. hands like yes! <laughs> yes! Good! <laughs> I'm so happy this is just what I wanted. Okay. Um if it's good, because I, I don't think Jack wanted me to bring anybody. I mean, like, other than my jury, of course. But... Right. Okay. We should maybe loan out someone to their cause, though. Oh, yeah, because it's RP stocked. Yeah. Oh. But you're going to stay with me, right? I think it would be wise if I was one of the people with you. Um, do, you, do you know by the way so I've seen like Sandra and Ruth before uh, there was a just there was a fae a oh fae. is Tanya okay Oh, I may have hit her with a dagger yes I'm, I'm told that she's recovering fine I think your dagger was made out of cold iron though so I, I practice with silver and cold iron and a lot of different that hurts wooden me too, you know. And that's why I don't touch you with him. It is wise to practice with different weights. Yeah, I practice with wooden ones. I practice with several different weights okay, and materials because like, they you have know, uses. The, I, like it doesn't hurt me as bad. Like I can touch it and not like Yeah, but I I, don't, I wouldn't but, want like, it to it hurt you at, I wouldn't want it to hurt you at all. Okay, good. Um yeah, okay. Also, the the, the ink is probably going to stain whatever she was wearing. Well, it serves her right for spying. Yeah, why was she there? I believe she was rude. spying. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, I, I can tell take her. Tell her I hope she gets better soon and that she needs to stop spying on me and it serves her right, but I hope she gets better soon. I will pass your message along. But I don't think it was Dixie. I think this Sebastian guy is, is suspect. And Maybe if I were not. to send, I don't know, if I were to send someone to, to infiltrate, you know, something, I too would send a hot guy or girl I or them. I still think that I should perhaps look into Dixie more. If you do, be careful and don't hurt them. They're pretty cool. Yeah, Dix, Dix, Dixie's great. I don't um, like you looking into Dixie. I don't. We're just being careful. I don't think Dixie did anything. And I think you're right that Sebastian's probably nice. And I will be nice. I have to tell him no because that's what Jack wants. But I'll be nice. You could say no and be nice. Sometimes people are nice, but that doesn't mean they don't have bad intentions or intentions right. that are self serving. What? Right. Uh, I 
I think she's been nice uh, in classes. Not Dixie. I was talking about Sebastian. Dixie's great. We're, we're just being careful, Bridget. Oh, I was talking about... Okay, careful is what we're being, Bridget. Yeah. We're, we're, we're looking... Just making sure. We're making very sure. Because Dixie's just as cool as we think she is. And we're making very sure that Sebastian is as cool as you think he is. And that everyone will be cool and we'll all be friends. It'll be great. Um, I need to go find Marissa. She had a spare cheer costume for me. Okay. And hey, uh, Bridget, let's, uh, outside of this, let's, let's make plans uh, with your sword. I can show you, you know, I've learned some stuff oh, from Mr. Really? Mulhair. Yeah, let's let's take some time and I'll... I can teach you things too. I'll show you... Yeah, we can show you the... Uh, Karina knows a few things and I, I know a lot okay. more and... Yeah. Show you. Yeah, that sounds great. You know, maybe, maybe I'll teach maybe you. Maybe Sandra and Ruth can show you something because they're like super great. Yeah, maybe maybe tomorrow after school. Sure. Yeah. yeah uh, let me. Oh God. Corey like pulls out his phone. The ever problem of a child who has a job. Uh, I have work tomorrow, but but after work. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I can pick you up if you want. Oh, that could be cool. Yeah. Maybe okay, I'll like take cool. a stroll. Yeah. Yeah. Hurrah. Hurrah. <laughs> And I think Bridget gets up to go look Bridget. for Marissa. And I yeah. think that's the pep rally. A, I think that's a great place to stop. Yeah. Um, okay. and, and we'll um, do. We'll start with the pep rally next time, and we'll see. You know, if how nice. Ever Marissa nefarious was. plans, Wait, Marissa. So has. does does Marissa like actually have just like a? We're gonna uh, find out. Yeah, next I guess we'll week. find out next week. I, okay. I was, do you want I mean, me to I mean, hold it? I, I, I no, mean, well, whatever. I could go. I could go either way. You know? I want to. Can we, can we do it now? I'm excited now? to see how Marissa's gonna mess with Bridget. But... I'll t I can tell you now, because we're Tell's gonna start now. with the do, it, do it now. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it now. Okay, mm -hmm. Marissa um, has a, uh, a a cheerleader uniform um, that is uh, has been uh, altered um, slightly. It, it was used by somebody in a, a skit last year, and it is more revealing than all the other cheerleading uniforms. Okay. And it says it's too small. Great. <laughs> um, so that's where we'll start next time. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Would any of my lovely cast members, do Do any of you have announcements before we get to the official Gehenna announcements? Oh, Karina, you're, you're back. Well, I mean, I guess it's part of the official Gehenna time. announcement, so. Yeah. Oh. Whoa, now I'm... Oh, are we talking about Thursday? Yes. Um, yeah, go ahead. Tell us what's going on on Thursday. This Thursday, this same channel, this same time frame. Episode 3 of Witchburner. Time's running out. <gasps> Putting some pressure on bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. That was good. That was fun. What about you, Ashley? I saw you. Yeah. I have um, this Sunday, um, which is almost a week from today, uh, catch me over on Karen Comfort Studios. I'm in Iron City by Night, where I play a vampire um, at 8 p.m. EST. It's a lot of fun. Awesome. Uh, anybody else? Great. So let's get to the official schedule. Um, tomorrow, uh, the deep dive on cult starts. If you're curious about Ooh. cult, our deep dive series takes a look at the mechanics of the game and sometimes a little bit more. It, on I, game. And uh, I, I, I guess this is going to be a multi-part one. Some of the thicker rule books have multi-parts on the deep for deep dive because that's how it was phrased to me is that it starts tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, there is a cult mini-series starting called Echoes of the Past. Thursday, of course, is Witchburner, as we just noted. Friday, you'll get to see me and Natalie again. It's our final one-shot of Ace Adventure um, for the Kickstarter, as it is also the final night of the Ace Adventure Kickstarter campaign. If you have not uh, taken a look at it yet, well, I just dropped the link in the chat. Um, it ends Friday at 9 p.m. at night, right in the middle of our game, um, because that's going to be super fun and awesome, and you should give me your money. 
Uh, in addition such to an awesome game. Such an way. awesome I game. I got to play Friday. That's true. Natalie jamming. Cool. It was mm-hmm. awesome. We're actually going to try to great. get both uh, Stephanie's game and Rob's game up on the YouTube this week so people can watch all the actual plays before yes. the end of the campaign. Uh, well, so we have a fun. terrible Russian accent. It's so <laughs> great. No, I, I love your so Russian accent. So it was so good. And no, it, that's what makes it great is oh. that it's so bad. <laughs> then on Saturday, still here on Gehenna Gaming, is the uh, one-shot for Cyberpunk Red as part of our Saturday Ooh. night one-shot series. Uh, Sunday is Forbidden Lands. It's a full week for Gehenna Gaming. Yeah. It, like a literally full week. And then Monday. Monday, that pep rally, y'all. Monday, we're back here for the pep rally. Um, And um, Bridget's ever-rotating costume changes. Um, (laughs) Bridget's going to keep the goth makeup on, though. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! That'll be great. It'll be totally a bring it on moment. Sexy goth cheerleader making somebody's fantasy come live. Dixie, just just Dixie's. Dixie's. Also, I am concerned about Dixie now, and and by concerned, I mean concerned for her. And what do these vampires do to her? We're all gonna be friends. If I could draw, everything will work out. I love the idea. Like Dixie is fanning herself, and Alistair's like trying to get a whiff of what she's fanning. (laughs) Oh Oh, God! What are you doing, Dixie? Uh, I want to know what Alistair does. The center of biology have the fan Anyway, let's wrap this up, and then we can. Things in our Zoom chat for the next three hours. <laughs> yeah, that is a thing. A thing to consider. Side note: When you play games, they brought it up in a really cool crash course recently. Having this thing where, like, an after you talk with your friends and you're like, "Hey, this happened. How do you feel about it?" And high key recommend it. At GV, we tend to do it like almost every game, and it's really fabulous. And it helps with burnout and other fun things like that. It's a safety Truth. tool. It is safety, safety tools. tools. All right, cool. Well, on that note. We'll see everybody back here on Monday for the pep rally. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.